Yes, yes. You know what time it is, man. It's uh, it's rabbit season again, and yes, yes. Um, it's back. time for for us to get back to it. You know, real life kicks in sometimes. Everybody out there knows what time it is, but uh, we're back to it, man. Rabbit season, broadcasting live and affect the podcast is here, and I'm with my next guest, which. Uh, let me let me just do a quick my own quick intro is um you know this I, this show I just wanted to just talk some music and some hip hop mm-hmm. and uh what better guest than my next guy man I I first met him as another part of another platform mm-hmm. uh, uh, originally mm-hmm. uh but he's also an artist and everything like that go ahead and introduce yourself man Yes sir good looking rabbit yeah. West Haven's in the building you know what I mean you know what I'm saying <laughs> uh, West Haven blast yeah, you know the business. We live. We about to uh, get high and talk some, talk, talk some talk, shop. Talk, talk, yeah, yeah, chop it up with y'all. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know what? <laughs> and and not, um, you know, uh, well, first off, man, how, how you been? I know it hasn't been that long since you've right. been through the B side, right? Um, but even on that show, I was like, we're gonna get this together, right. and, I, and I meant to do this sooner. Like I said, man, I've been dealing with a lot I'm of waiting stuff. Waiting on you, bro. Yeah, yeah just yeah, like yeah. everything, I've been dealing with stuff like everybody else. Yeah, but me too. Yeah, 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 we're here, and uh, uh, but how you been, man? Man, been good, man. Hanging in there, working just like you, as you know, bro. Working, working, working. Mm-hmm. Um, if 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 you if 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 you're not working, something's wrong. You know what I mean? The progress, the progress should continue. So that's all been going on with me, man. Um. Personal stuff, you know, it's always family stuff. I got two daughters, so, you know, yeah. it's always real life going on. But as far as um, everything else, man, just pushing Shit, this music, man. man pushing I got this one. Music out, bro. I, I got one one daughter, so I can only oh, imagine. Oh, you can relate, though. But, but, yeah, I, but I can relate, but that's yeah. double, man. It's like, <laughs> yeah, man, she's, she's a handful man. right now. How old are yours, bro? Uh, man, um... They're teenagers. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna age myself too much. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yeah. they're teenagers. So look, I, I've been through the, um, you know, the stages where they little babies and they're lovable, and now they're teenagers. So it's like, they, you know, can't really, you, know, you can't discipline them as hard. You know, what I'm yeah. trying to say they're into girly stuff. They're listening to hip hop. So it's like, uh. yeah. <laughs> hey, at least they're at least they're listening to some good. Yeah, you know, that's good. Uh, good yeah, good my daughter, one of my daughters was bumping Kodak Black though. Uh, you know? Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> So, no disrespect, yeah. but I'm just keeping it real. I was like, oh, so, let me get you some, let me get you some classic hip hop on this playlist. Gotta show them at some point. <laughs> you gotta, uh, like, uh, feed, spoon feed it slowly. Slowly, it'll like, kick in. Right, right, right. Because <laughs> you know what? What's cool is like, you know, even on on B side, is you you hear a lot of, uh, you know, sometimes younger artists, they'll be hearing it from from you know some good music usually from like an uncle aunt right. brother sister what some of them even say their parents like right, we used right. to be in the ride bumping like tupac and then uh, and then they're now rapping right. like you know what i'm saying right, so right, that's right. a trip and bro. and and they'll get the they'll, their first experience from tupac will be us playing playing in the car. Yeah, I had my right. daughters young though. Don't trip. I had them yeah. young. Right. That's <laughs> what I was say. Yeah, you're just a young young dad. Young that's dad. All. That's all. It you is, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I stopped early though. I had my I had yeah. them back to back two years wow. apart. Yeah. And so after that, I was like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Does it I'm ever like, happen the opposite where like they might you might hear something that that they listen to that you maybe haven't heard before and you're going, hey, who's that? Is you know? Is rarely. That a, rarely, but rarely, it never happened. Rarely. Um, like J Cole, middle child. Oh, okay. It, my youngest, she learned every word bar for bar, and she was she started spitting it in the car, yeah. and I'm sitting there looking at her like, what the? F-? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was barring out, she, and, and I like that though. I was like, okay, you spitting, okay. Yeah. I, like, I, I was like, don't listen to some of that other stuff though. You know, you know, yeah. Calm down, you know. Yeah. Like, nothing against nothing, nothing against the more commercial rap. It's cool. We listen to it in our cars, but you know, I want my kids to. No hip hop, you know, real hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Get some of the essence. The class, the essence, yeah. not you know, classic hip hop. There's different forms and shit, but you know, yeah. Man. Yeah, and you I know? and that's what I, I'm my my daughter right now. I mean, she's gonna be four this year, but um, she's all over the place with her like selection. selection. Yeah. <laughs> so because my 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 girl will put on different stuff on, the, and she'll be dancing around the living room. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. uh, bump it, to, but it'll be all over the place. I've heard her spitting some full lyrics to some songs. <laughs> yeah. she, she learns the song. She's like, trying, bro. Uh, See, it, it starts young, bro. I was trying to take a nap today, and she she had this little fucking guitar that 
Someone bought my, my daughter plays the guitar. Yeah, so and she was like, "Well, she thought she was playing." She was like, you know, ching ching, and she was singing something, dog. And I'm like trying to sleep, but I thought it was cute at the same time. So I'm like, I had to let her ride. You know? See, the thing of it is, we, what we don't realize is us as hip hop dads, they're listening to everything we do. Yeah, we don't realize this shit until they're spitting bars. You know yeah. what I'm trying to say? Like, it, I, look, like when we were younger, like okay, remember like two live crew type shit. Your parents do not want you listening to two no, live crew. No, for sure. You know what I'm trying to say? Just like you don't want your little kids listening to, to, to some Kodak Black songs where he, he's talking about lean and, and, and fucking, you know yeah. what I'm trying to say? So it, 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 as a kid, you know, as a, as a kid, though, I was like, fuck y'all. I'm listening to two live crew. I want to see this video. Yeah. Uh, I was sneaking to see the video because yeah. yeah, they were raunchy, yeah. right? Ma- matter of fact. <laughs> the songs were... <laughs> see, I, I'll date myself. See, I remember... Uh, well, they're one of the reasons that there is a parental advisory, first of all, mm-hmm. like okay, on, yeah, on the yeah. front of the things, uh, two live crew. But another thing that, uh, shit, what was, I used the, to sneak what was the original videos, bro? Like the original Skywalker, the original two live crew album. I forgot, uh, um, nasty as they want. I forgot what the name of the, the, uh, so it'll come yeah, back to me, but the name of the original, memory. the project, right? Yeah. This was even before CDs. This shit was on cassette ah. and all that, but they used to sell this joint. When when they had all the music stores back in the mm-hmm, day, mm-hmm. that shit was behind the counter. <laughs> uh, I ain't lying, dog. Like you had to request it. You had to request it, and then usually if they were doing their job right, you had to have a parent or somebody wow. there to get it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've had a, heard a lot of stories from homies and friends, like or even my lady. She said, like you know, like she had, she, you know, that your parents would take you to the music store. Yeah. So you would get, and then you'd want to play it in the car, but and you know they've had, you know, basically tapes chucked out the window I was like what the <laughs> hell are you listening to in my car like take this shit out of here like, you have i can't believe you made me pay I, for this i shit. witnessed that i witnessed some of that i witnessed some of that but my baby mom actually um she 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 got she got Lil Kim, that Lil Kim album. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? The one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and you know they had the hot single. So her mom was, you know, she was all jamming. The, got to like track four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it was over. It was over. Yeah, she'd be, all, she'd be talking about getting her yeah. fucking <laughs> ass eaten. Ass ain't yeah. watching cartoons and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that was the song. Yeah. I think that was the song. That was the That's name of the I'm single. <laughs> I think the was single was I get my ass eaten and watch cartoons. <laughs> Come on. Fucking shit. Uh, me laugh. That was, I think that was the song, though, bro. Yeah, yeah. I think that was the hey, song. They were, they were on some, you know, and that, <laughs> then again, like, that's like part of the stuff that we trip on to. Yeah. It was like, yeah, our parents, if they really heard what we were listening yeah. to, we were pushing the limit to li- yes. getting away with what we were listening to. Yes. And, and yes. you know what? Me and my, my boy were just talking about that man who, um, these guys, just took over uh the front of our store for okay. for the studio here but okay. um i've known that dude for a long time and we were just talking about like certain things like and uh you know what we didn't come out too bad bro like you know what i'm saying I like agree. we we I we've agree. been through some shit back back when, when when i was coming up you know and um we listened to some bad music bad, yes, yeah. horrible <laughs> some crazy horrible. music man you know nwa when it first came Sh- out ice tea come oh, on oh bro. shit like, yeah oh, some even, violent even shit even body no. count oh yes i was yeah. thinking about the body yeah. count yeah, yeah. Cop killer and I was a nerdy ass kid listening to some hardcore gangster rap. That was my favorite type of music. <laughs> you know, at the time. Like, here's the thing it too: good. is is mine so, too, bro. like mine too, bro. my mom had, had, was going through some stuff, but like when I was a youngster too. Okay. And she uh, she actually had, had got a little time, but not a lot. And it was crazy because like that was you know it was crazy for all of us. We ended up living with one of my my relatives, my got aunt, you, and her sons were older than us. But one of them was cool because he was into like uh, uh, more like metal and shit. Okay. So I had gotten a copy of the and I think I dubbed it from somebody. Dubbing it. Come yeah, on, yeah, bro. Yeah, remember that shit? Yeah, see, you remember that word? Yeah, I I I, I, I dated bro. myself right yeah. there, but we, <laughs> yep, we I yep. dubbed it. I copied that. I had yep. it on cassette, and they had a little player. I I and they they would let me. I had it in the garage. And I would listen because they knew I loved hip hop. And this was, I was a youngster, dog. Okay. And and uh, I remember I got a hold of the first NWA, and I used to go in the garage, obviously, to listen to that shit. Right, cause right, right. I, they would have probably chucked that shit yeah, and yeah. probably <laughs> threw me out the front door. But uh, but what happened to be cool is my older my older cousin, 
he ended up liking it and he would go he would go in there and he was older than me dog like and i'm in the garage so you had at their it. house and sneaking to listen to this shit not really sneaking they knew i was listening to music just not that kind right and then uh my my older cousin, he would go out there and listen. Oh man, I like this shit. You had an ally. Yeah, yeah. You had a partner in yes, crime. Sir. Like, yes, yes, sir. Yeah. Don't get my shit thrown away. I, I was, I was fucking. Ch- <laughs> All right, cool. I could listen to my shit, and it, I, it, I had a lot of stuff like that. It, so. it was, it was the same for me, bro. The NWA shit, the Easy E shit. It was, it was, I had to hide. The, I had to, you know, low key. But crazy shit, Snoop Dogg, all that vulgar shit. My mom would let me play that shit in the car. It's crazy how maybe they started actually knowing this. Maybe I mean they, that, you know what I'm saying though. Like when you know an artist, like man, this artist like is dope. Maybe I don't like what they're saying, but you knew there's something. There's something about it. And she look, liked the music. And look, Snoop's yeah. here. Like, yeah, what, she likes the beat. Too. Right, 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 right. She she let the uh, uh, she over. She, she, yeah, she overlooked the yeah. the bad. Well, my mom loved the song. I got five on it by the Loonies. She used to bump it really, like loud. See? We see? Like, we one time. See? My mom pulled up on on the, at the crib. We had uh, made a, a makeshift studio in the garage we had at the time, and I helped. Like, I, and I was already a little older, um, still young, but. We had ended up getting a, a house that we rented, okay. and I had rooms, and I helped to get it. So, so I made a we made a studio in the garage, and my mom, we're in there getting ready to do something. I don't remember what, and then and then <laughs> all the homies are in there, <laughs> and you hear like. I got five. And my mom pulls up in the soccer van shit, you know, bumping. But she's singing along. And then she didn't know everybody's in the garage. And she looks over. Oh, shit. And, and all the homies were like, oh, shit. Yeah, dude, like, their your mom, mom's super cool. Yeah, she bumping. Uh-huh. I got five on it. It's you know crazy. I mean? It's crazy. Like, yeah. th- And she, of course, she knew what it meant. You oh, know? Yeah. At first, oh, she, she, she kind of asked because it was kind of like. I mean, she didn't really exactly know, like, but we we explained it to her. Right. But she still liked the song right. after because they had their Mar- <laughs> they had their Mary Janes back in the day. Oh yeah, right? they, yeah. they just didn't say it in White that lines. way. White lines. They had their songs. Oh, they had yeah. crazy yeah. shit talking Come about uh, frying on acid and shit. <laughs> they just had different terminology back. <laughs> exactly. Then. Hey, yeah. and exactly. you know, and that's the thing. And then I took the time because, all right, since my mom took the time to at least because a lot of the times you know how it was like, eh, what is this shit? Like you were saying earlier, shit, but. Um, right, right. Took but, the time to, uh, even but she took the time to at least like she liked the beat, appreciate she the liked music. the hook. Mm-hmm. But then, so then I I played it in the car again when we were going somewhere, mm-hmm. and I was telling her, "Listen, though, this is what I like." And I was explaining to her because, and this is the th- the thing. Me and my mom are still cool. Like I right. could talk to my mom about anything. Right. Um, but it's like when we live together, we butt heads a lot. But yeah. when we don't, we're like. But she's of one friends. of my best friends mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. so my mom like we were just in the ride and it was just random and i was like explaining to her i said you know what i like about hip-hop yeah. i said you know how you like that beat you're not a hip-hop fan you like the beat right. you like the catchy hook right and they they rap good right on beat right but here's what i like and i t- and i got to explain to her I w- i'm a i'm a fan of lyrics right i've always been right. in the lyrics me too so yeah, yeah. i would literally i Preach. started breaking down the verses for her I said, did you hear that metaphor he just said? Like, preach, you know what I mean? Preach, like, preach. I'm the, you know, I think I just posted something the other day. I'm the type that likes to light another blunt. Like, like Cypress Hill. I saw that. Like yep, Cypress yep, Hill. Yep, 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 yeah, but, yep. you know, yep. um, but just all the metaphors they were using um, throughout that. Now I break it down. And what does this mean? What does this You're mean? schooling her yeah, on yeah. hip hop. Yeah, so it was cool. And that, then she heard some of it too because I remember like she would hear some of the stuff that that like we were playing like right. like and then she actually would go and buy the CD like wow. like she she liked the Tupac's album with, with the one before All Eyes on Me. Um, um what was the name of the, uh, the, the Oh, the one I think it was the one with Tupac Dear Mama and all. Yes. Yeah, that yes. one. Yeah. So, so she got that. Yes. Um, and then she really loved the uh, Nate Nate gets the world. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah that's what it was. Yeah, that's yeah right. me against her. I know me we should have known that right. shit. Right. Like, right. And, then, and then the other one was a uh, Nate Dog. The one he, when he put out that G Funk classic. Classics. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Like she actually bought that too. She wow. really, yeah, like she bought the CD. She was bumping. Oh, she's like, she's so, a hip hop. And this is when she got older. Like so, she was just so, open minded. And, and I find that super. She freaking took it. Yeah. Dope. She took it to, to another level. This was made it even dope to me. Um like when when we were recording stuff because you know i was part of a group we were recording stuff back in the day and uh and and the fact that she knew we were putting out um stuff basically independent and selling it right 
So my mom, when she would see cats, they were really grinding like they were, you know, I don't know if you you remember, I'm sure. But remember, they'd be out there with the headphones and they'll be like, bro, like, that was me. My, that was my me. shit. Yeah. That was me. And that then, was me. Here, I got that these was on me deck. in real life. Yes. That was me in Gardena, Strawberry Square. Yes. All over. <laughs> that was me. Real talk. That, that that's was what me. I'm saying. And, and I met so many famous people like that. Oh, yeah. And a lot a lot of people. And then on the strength, though, but my mom would support. She would buy the independent Dope. shit because, and she would tell him, "You, yeah, my son, my Dope. son, my son does hip hop, so I'm support." Like basically, tell him, "Like I'm supporting you because because my son does this because one day you're gonna like out you're gonna maybe buy his or whatever." You right. know what I mean? Dope. Like my mom was just cool. Like wasn't that, that your group, man? Oh, T and S at the time. What's it that was from for? taking no shit. Oh, so that's dope. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, bro. we had it. It was off a crew dope. we had, and uh, we we ended up making a. Group and like even our, like remember our stepsister Melissa when she doesn't even listen to hip hop, but she came to one of his shows when they're performing. Yeah. She said she saw the booth. She came up. Hey, that's my brother. That's my brother. <laughs> now first they got kind of nervous. Like, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, that's the homie. Wait, you know she meant it in a good way. Right, she came right. All aggressive. But she's, if you she's see, excited, all excited, right? but if you seen, like, but see that didn't do it justice. If you saw my stepsister, Doug, she could, she can intimidate even fools. Like, okay, she she walked through one time. <laughs> so, so so we were doing an outside gig, right? Yeah, uh, and we had like a little booth selling whatever. Uh, I think we had uh, some CDs at the time okay. some, with a few joints. I don't remember at the time, but mm. and then a couple of the homies with us, they had some stuff. Uh, she fucking straight walked up, but straight walking hard, dog. Like, <laughs> Come and on, she has that's my brother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, she has kind of a little rough voice too, so she was like, that's "My bro, that's buy his shit right now." Yeah, <laughs> that's my brother's shit. Like in other words, like, it, and then they were like. Oh, Okay, okay. Like, like, what should we do now? <laughs> they even came up to me. They even came up to me at one point and go, Hey, uh, you know, is she, is she good? Uh, like, is she they were scared of her, dog. Like, she scared them. That shit was crazy. But yeah, yeah. She, she supported. Dope. She watched the that's, whole show. That's dope, though, to have support. The good like old that. days. That's dope to have support like that, yeah, though, you know? Yeah, you know, that's how a lot of the shows went, too. That's and, crazy, bro. But then we started TNS. getting. That's yeah, dope, we started dope. getting more people. Uh, going and then I started doing some solo stuff and, Dope, and but bro. we just do it and that's okay. where I started um, like uh, getting more here here's the thing that's trippy bro trip out on this um, I I didn't get when we were doing show <coughs> rocking show I was only comfortable when I was doing my verses like okay. at that time I didn't really know how to talk to the crowd very good got you the and, whole in scene and, the, and then look what and then I start so I'm like looking and at now it. you're hosting shows yeah and, and so that's what I was gonna say irony. at the time I was like you know what we we I had a opportunity me and a couple partners that right. that first originally had this shit man shout out to uh uh Rocky Wacko uh oh, just man. got a new gig too they're doing they're doing big things uh, uh DJ Fizz Ed no, um no. we can't we had a meeting and we created b-side show and at the time Dope. i was still doing music so and you know b-side show's been going almost 11 years right, now so right, right. so um at the time i was like man I, I need to get better at chopping it up with the people and then i got too comfortable and this, <laughs> this is my zone i just don't stop talking on this shit now but, i knew the man would took yeah, over the whole shit yeah, yeah, but, yeah you know yeah. that's where we're at now but Dope. Dope. but but um again i uh Thank you for coming through. The oh, reason, absolutely, bro. The not reason me. again is just to have a hip hop combo, just like we're doing now. Right. But um, not to not to go on any anything, uh, you know, negative because not it needs to be spoke about. But damn, it sucks. All the mother, all the fucking icons and shit we're losing man, now, man. bro. Right, bro. R.I.P. Shock, bro. Shock G yesterday. It's ridiculous. It's like three back to back to back mm -hmm. to back, and 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 and. and you could take it back a few months. It, Fred the Godson just passed. Oh, that's right. In yeah. 2020, during the whole COVID stuff. And then you got also um, Prince Marky D. Right Prince Marky D. Uh, Th thank you, bro. Yeah. So many that have passed that we're forgetting some that have passed. No, it's uh, too many. Now. It's too that's many like, now. Uh, was it, right? Uh, thank uh, you. Shabba Do what was it the the? Thank you for the, that, bro. The pop locker. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, oh, the pop locker. Yeah. Come on, bro. It's been like, and it's more that we're forgetting. Bro. Dmx, of course. Dmx. And, and, uh, Black Rob. Black Rob. Black Rob. Man. Black Dmx. Black Rob. And then recently Shock. Yeah, yeah, man. And, and 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 that's the the three that are the the, the so so to to spin it, you know, more positive. Like, 
you know, rest in peace to them. And, yes. and you know what? Um, hip hop as a culture and a family in general, um, a lot of people are talking about it more now, but we, we need to get our our health, not only mentally, Man, but physically, preach, bro. everything, preach, um, bro. you know, because it is a it's a lifestyle. Hip preach, hop is, and, uh, preach. you know, kind of on that is it was like the new rock and roll preach, type of shit. Bro, and, uh, preach, bro. But preach. we got to get our shit back together, man, yeah. so we don't keep losing everybody. Right. But the lifespan of of a, of a hip hop artist, like you said, is is similar to a, that of a rock artist. Now, yeah, yeah. you you rarely see them. Unfortunately, you know you'll see the executives, uh, you know your Puff Daddies, your um your 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 your, 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 your uh, 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 Russell Simmons, even though like you know living their 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 middle age to to to, to younger years. Unless years, you're like you know Mick Jagger or Keith Richards, right, 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 you lived right. to like ninety nine and shit, right, dog. Like, right. They're still going. They're right, like those are you know? those are the uh, they the, kill it they, still. Yeah, they kill it still. Yeah. But a lot of them have got cut down so too early, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and um. You know, the, like one of the things I kind of wanted to get on to, like with those artists, like I just if any of you have anything um, with any of those artists. But one story real quick I wanted to tell is I remember um, when I first started having interest, you know, and I was a hip hop artist still, right. too. And we were producing stuff. I was co-producing stuff. I, I help put shows to get for those that don't know just Bro, little you, stuff. Your story is little, like the same as yeah, mine. Yeah. You, you, everything you're the, saying, uh, I've done. We're, we're behind Bro, the scenes. That's crazy, bro. Doing stuff. Sometimes people don't. But even you're know in about. the mix yeah, too. Always like, in the mix. Yeah. yeah. And, Go ahead, sorry. Uh, <laughs> and uh, but no. But that being said, I I uh, I was trying to enter this thing. Uh, you know, I started getting more interest in maybe radio broadcasting and stuff. And right. I just always felt. That's why I ended up doing it myself this way because dope, dope. Um, I felt at the time like, man, I, I felt, fuck, I can't start all over and go start from scratch Square and go to school one. and mm -hmm. and go get intern like, now because instead of that I had already built up, uh, you know, networking and working with different people and all that. But I remember I was trying to put something together to send in as my demo. Yes, and I remember using. Uh, uh, Black Rob Woe as my Dope. background. Dope. So I would let it kick in. Uh, and I mixed it myself. And here's what's crazy. I didn't Dope. have a turntable. I mixed it myself on, I had a, a dual cassette player okay. where you can record. I remember those. I like remember, we were saying, I was, dubbing. I was a kid. Yeah, that's dubbing. how you dub. The, yeah. the, 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 mm -hmm, and remember mm -hmm. you put the tape, tape. Put the tape. <laughs> if, you didn't, <laughs> if you didn't have. I didn't know how to make those, but I know how to dub. <laughs> if you didn't have the, uh, the, the actual recordable cassettes. Yeah. Like. I don't know if you remember this, but we put tape over the shit of some. I remember an old cassette. seeing yeah. that. There's like Bro. this thing on the top. You plug it up, and then you. I've never tried. Over. I've seen. I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen and, that. And, and we and I and I remember I put my own little mix together, and I put pockets. Okay. Where the music will play, and then I would let him rap again, and then I would come in. Yeah, coming up, coming. In. And like just whoa, practicing on my radio cadence and and kicking right when I knew the shit was gonna kick back in, oh, type of shit. Bro. Uh, timing, I guess timing, you could say timing, timing. Timing. And that's what I, you know, I work on that all the time on B side. Is that we try to go right into videos and shit, but right. um, that's something I've always like practiced myself. And it was a, oh. it was a, a the demo. It was Black Rob. That was the demo. Yeah, that was my demo I put together. It was over Black Rob Whoa. And that song is hard, bro. Man, though, like, classic. Yeah, bro, yeah. bro, bro. That, that's what I hate about radio sometimes because when all the new stuff comes out, you come on, whoa is not a hundred years ago. Whoa is hot, bro. Like it's you know, hot now. It's hot now. You can play that in the club. Oh, when you hear that come on in the club. Thank you. Yep, yep, yep. It's like, whoa. Yep, yep. Duh, Everybody duh, starts duh, mosh like, pitting out, right? Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But uh, out of those three artists, I, I never had any de dealings with any of them personally except one. Mm -hmm. And that was, rest in peace, all of them, but that was DMX. Crazy story. See, he, I never got to meet him, bro. Uh, he was crazy. And I met a lot of pretty dope artists. He was artists. crazy in real life, yeah, dude. Like, I'm, I, can, I, I, I was wild in my day, too. But, like, when I ran into him, it was like, okay, this motherfucker is really... Out there in a good way, you know yeah, what I'm saying. So, yeah. quick story. I met on him some, on his own shit. On his own yeah, shit, right, yeah. right, right. Probably how ODB would have been. How they explained he was, like yeah. just in his own world. Yeah. So, um, I never met him, but 2004, I met him um, in, in my neighborhood on Rosecrans and and, Fi and, and Figueroa, bro. Um, he was getting gas. He was getting gas, and I was up early selling my CD with the headphones. Like I told you I do, right? Oh, and, and, and and I recognized him. Like, this motherfucking DMX. Luckily, I was with my baby mom. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, you probably met her before. She used to help me with stuff. But I was with her. Um, um, and um, so I asked her, you know, because it's easier for a woman to do it than, you know, tall guy walk up to oh, a, a rich ass mom, yeah, right yeah. so he's in a Benz and a Benz truck I don't want to get shot right so that too right? <laughs> so she goes up there and um tries to sell him my CD I'm just trying to sell my CD okay whatever I, I, I'm trying to make money whatever did um, you guys know it was him though yeah oh okay, I, okay. I, I was out because I, I was at the gas station selling my CD okay right so and you we had, saw it was I him. saw him okay. we had, we, 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 I, I was in the car and I was like oh that's DMX I was like that's like you go yeah. And so instead of buying my CD, he says, he tells her, have you guys been to church to this morning? I guess it was a Sunday. Um, um, and, 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 and she lied and said yes, because we were out there trying to sell, sell our CD and stuff. And so um, he said, well, you're going again. So he took us down the street on Rose Cranston and San Pedro, which is still in my neighborhood. You know that actress Grace Jones? Oh hell yeah! Come, yeah okay, yeah. come on, the strong yeah, trade, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? She the, was, the, I think she was with like David Bowie back in the day. For like, real? I think. Don't quote me on that. Wasn't she? Oh, that's I, some, she was in his video, but I don't know if there. But was no, but I think there was a. Uh, I, it probably was. Yeah, because that's some weird relationship. Because you know, David yeah. Bowie was out there. He was, he was a freak. Some, <laughs> he was a freak. He was freaky, bro. Oh, he but was, he, but he, he likes. Uh, he, hey. was, he might be the son of the Lambs guy. <laughs> he was freaky, bro. <laughs> he was freaky. He was on some other. <laughs> he was on some other. Shit. You talk so, too crazy, man. Give me that farba bean. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. Hey, hey, you know what though? He likes some some chocolate. Though, okay, but, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So he they probably was together. I then. think so. They probably, he was on that. He was on. I think it's Russell Crowe. Some one of them was on that type of shit. But. Yeah, she she was in like some James Bond movies and okay. shit back in the day. Okay. Yeah, I, I remember her from um the um the Eddie Murphy movie where. Strange, that oh. that ridiculous perfume commercial she oh, did, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that she was trying to be sexy. It was see, see, but before you know what I'm talking about. Be, before that movie, bro, um, because yeah, I'm this old. But before that movie, even. I think she was like even bigger than that. They kind of like okay. They kind of like because as a kid, I was like, "How is she big like no, this?" Like they brought, they kind of like <laughs> who is this person? <laughs> they kind of brought her back. Okay, on that. okay, yeah, like, okay. Uh, at the time, but, that was one of those question marks as a kid. So, like, uh, uh-uh, uh, this is. This. Was she at the church? <laughs> oh no, it's our. It was a brother's church. Oh, okay, his name is uh, Noel Jones or something. Okay, and so he took us in the church, bro. Long story short. We're in there, didn't make sense. He's, he, he was really into it. He was, you know, he really about that when he raps about the God stuff. So he's really, and I, I was dope, appreciated, and it, it rubbed off on me. It was motivational. Kelly Rowland was there. She's like, man, hey. she was like, she's short. As, she's, she's so short. It's crazy. I thought she was tall. Man, she's like 4'11, bro. That shit tripped me out. I was not, no bullshit. Maybe 5'1, maybe 5 feet I even. Thought, man, she, she looked, was short, she bro. She looked taller than everybody else. That's when camera they have tricks. Her out, That's, when, when they have her coming man, out with she people was, now. She was uh, miniature. She looked tall as she shit. Was, Man, she was like she's six feet, dog. All right, that's funny you said that. She was miniature, bro. And so, after that, he took us. Long story short, he he gave us some money from um, clothes and gas. Took us to Harold and Bell's, which is a seafood restaurant in in LA. Fed us with his DJ. Um, I forgot his name. Um, I I want to shout you out. I forgot his name. He was real cool. He was a he had a Chicago. He was a Puerto Rican cat. I forgot his name, man. He was cool though, but. I forgot his name. Um, well, when you remember it during the show, we'll shout. Yeah, him I'll out. shout oh, him out. Man, I'll come so back to so, me. And uh, so, I mean, that's almost. I mean, and then not, not to ra- cut oh, you off. I was gonna but, wrap it up, but I was just gonna say that. Damn, you went to sell him a CD. You got to kick it with. I them. got to kick it yeah. with him all day, <laughs> yeah. all freaking day. Got some money, got some free dinner, yeah. got a church, whatever. Oh, yeah. and, and the kicker got the word. Got the word the right. You feel me? Yeah. But the kicker was this. Um, when we left the dinner, I was like, I got to get him to listen to my music. You know how it is, Rabbit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You're, you're, he's like, I'm about to go back to the block tomorrow. And I'm and sure you could appreciate. I'm gonna be at this gas station tomorrow, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah. I got to, I got to get him to at least listen to it. Man, and, cool. and and at the end of the dinner, he took my CD, went to his truck, a whole bunch of entourage people. So I'm nervous. You know, I'm kind of like you. Know, I, I'm, I'm 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 out there, but like if it's too if it's too rambunctious, I'll sit and watch first. So you know, everybody's in there. You know what? What is this? What is this? And everything. It's like twenty people over there. I'm like, oh, what did I get myself into, right? Yeah. So I stayed like at the front door by Harold and Bell's. No, no lie. Like, oh, hope they like it. You know, whatever. And um, he rushes back to me, bro. Um, uh, uh, um, I was rapping on it, and, and my baby mom's brother. Shout out Stofa. I know your name. Shout out Stofa. You know what I'm saying? He was um singing on it. He rushed back to me with that DMX walk like that. How much you want for the beat? I'm not. I'm sitting there. 
Huh? Like you guys liked it? I wanted to say so bad you guys liked it. <laughs> but I was like, you know, yeah, you trying right. to trying to stay tough. Like, yeah. you know, I knew he was gonna like well, you. Why right? should next surprise <laughs> right, right. Deep down, I'm like, like, oh my god. Like if you wanted to, tell, like you could just freeze time real quick right, and go right. hold hold up. You're like, <laughs> yes, fuck yeah. yeah. And then you go, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Uh, you know, we <laughs> could talk about it. exactly, yeah, rabbit. Yeah, yeah. I wish I could do that, but so I had to act it, and and I I told him which was my my. First thing on my head was my heart. So instead of thinking money, I was like, you know what? If you got on my beat, that would be the payment, bro. I'd be honored like that. And so we exchanged numbers. A week later, that's when he got arrested in LAX for uh, impersonating uh, a cop. <laughs> and so the the, the the connection was lost after that, bro. But yeah. That's fucking crazy, yeah, Real shit. Yeah, that's dope, though, man. I hey, thought I was man. on, bro. I thought I was on. <laughs> hey, I was like, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, hey. You were, on what you were about to be his fucking... Uh, producer. You know what I'm saying? His producer. Uh, you guys were about to create a super group. <laughs> yeah. And then he impersonated a cop. <laughs> Hey, look, on that Real note, shit, we're talking bro. hip-hop, and I want to do this real quick, because we do this about this. Ah, nice. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, I'm, go ahead. Hey, well, I don't have an actual story of interaction oh, with him, but I, you know, I can say that, um, you know, like, from my introduction to hip-hop was Prince Marky D from nice. The Fat Boy. That was Fat one of the Boys. first albums I ever heard, like, as a, no. when and I was, that was a kid. And I'll tell you why, because... That was one of the first two, because, oh, for those that don't know by now, that me and uh, Whitey and Shahir are brothers. I figured that uh, out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you knew that a long time ago. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the reason being is the first two, and, and don't get me wrong, I had plenty of stuff before this, because we used to, you know, dub, mem- or dub mm-hmm, our shit, mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But um, first two, when I had my own money, I think it was for a birthday or something. Yes. Had uh, I think it was my pops took me or my mom, I can't remember or my mom took me and then I took the this the the tapes the cassettes to my dad's house and okay. I don't think okay. he was feeling hip hop too much <laughs> but I got um, <laughs> it was a uh, the Fat Boys and I can't remember the name of that oh your album first two hip hop albums that I purchased myself right and not that they just came out at that time these were just two that's special though that the I first one you buy and I the other one and this is why I know the other one because this is Run DMC Raising Not Hell. Dope. Run DMC oh, Raising dope. Hell, bro. So I had stuff dope. before that because I was like break dancing and all that shit. But dope. but that I went in and like actually picked those two cassettes and and then, and then if uh, anybody's listening that like maybe that's younger that doesn't know about the fat boy that, uh, look up disorderlies remember the movie i, I do remember the movie yes the comedy yes. movie and, and we the, saw that in the theater and, and they, they, they were one of the first to transition yeah. to the the big screen you guys you guys beat me to the front to pick it back yes. off what he said yeah. and what you just said that's what caught me as a kid with Fat Boys. It wasn't really their music. Yeah. It was the comedy. They were yeah. characters. It was oh, funny. Yeah. They, they said were, this shit was hilarious. They were like, excellent with their... Right, uh, right. Yeah. That's what caught me as a kid. Like, And then as I got older, I was able to, you know, I got into lyrics. Yeah. I, I was too young for lyrics at that point in time. Hey, and you know what? <laughs> My mom bumps Madonna every day. <laughs> she, she listened to Madonna? <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, hey, yeah. fuck. You know what? I got a story on that. That was my oh, when I was a little kid, and this I, I, I will mean consistently. Say, I will say I was a little kid. I wasn't even like like dog. I wasn't I wasn't even teenager yet. Right. And Madonna was my my crush when I was a like, little wow. kid, bro. Like, yeah, from bro, the, she was hot as shit. Like, back back, <laughs> back from then, the material dude. girl days, huh? <laughs> dude. She used to come out like, and she was one of the first ones that would rock. You know, she she. Push the edge a right, little, right, you know? right, 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 right. But she, she, that's art, bro. That's cra- I loved so, her music. Yeah, I, I mean, I, that's what I'm saying. I loved her music. She pushed the envelope, but she still had great music. Yes. So, but yes. it was that's that was art. your crush. That's though. art. That's but, crazy. but she used to come out like with the lace bras. Yep, 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 where it was yep, supposed yep, to yep. be like it wasn't really showing. But you, if you look <laughs> real close, and I'm only telling you this because as a little kid, I looked close as shit. <laughs> I did too. I could see. I felt like I could see a little bit of her nipple. I think, so. I think I saw that video, bro. I think I saw it. I like Madonna, too, but it wasn't my super crush like that. Dog, but even, I like Madonna, even too, like, though. No, but I loved like, her music, though. Even like, her promo, though. She would come out and, like, um, and it was a movie. See, I don't know she if you know She reminded me this. of Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. There was a movie. Modern day. And this, I don't know if you know this movie. But um, it was called Desperately Seeking Susan. I know the name. I and don't see, remember the movie, but I do know it okay. came out like in the 80s or some shit. You could find it somewhere. Yeah. And I remember that shit. Yeah, I wasn't alive yet. Uh, kidding, kidding. <laughs> I already dated myself too late. 
<laughs> I'm old as fuck. Hey, but no, but it was 80s sometime. Yeah, yeah. something, something uh-huh. like that. But desperately uh, or late 80s. Or la- that's what I'm talking about. Late yeah, 80s. It yeah. wasn't early. I don't know yeah. about this. Late 80s. But uh, yeah. it was yeah. called desperately seeking Susan. It had. Uh, I remember that shit. I remember that name. Uh, uh, R- Rosanna Arquette. Rosanna Arquette. Yeah. Uh, that name sound familiar. That's, um, Patricia Arquette's sister. I know David Arquette. David Arquette. That's that's their si- that's his sister too. Got it. There's a whole family. Of yes, yes. The shirt. Yep, yep, yep. I know the sister. Okay. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. And then yep. I don't remember who else was in that. There's a gang of Arquette. Yeah, Madonna was. Like, <laughs> yeah. There's a gang of Arquette. Yeah, Madonna. <laughs> but I remember going. Um, What's at up the with time, this movie? I had a homie, right? I had a homie. He was like, uh, like at the time, he was like my best friend. Okay. And he was an only child, and his parents had a little cash, so. Dog, he, they just didn't want him always being the only, like, by him. So, dude, I would get invited, like, different. Dude, well, I went to the movies, bro. So, he, he didn't I want to be like, alone. Reap, I kind of reaped the benefits of oh. this, but. <laughs> and it wasn't because of that. He was my homie. Right, right, right. But right. they would always go, like, and they and I go. Bring your friend. I, no, but I would have to say, hey, you have to ask my mom. Like, gotcha, gotcha. But they would literally go, and his parents would ask and my mom, permission. like. Is it okay that he goes to the movies with? No, we're paying. Don't worry, like wow. and shit like that. I went on trips with them and wow. everything, bro. That was cool, man. Part of my child, I would have never went on some trips if it wow. wasn't for them. Shout out to them, by yes, the way. Yes, but yes. um, uh, I remember they dropped us off, and we were kind of young. And, and and here's the other thing, they felt comfortable because I was kind of a, they knew I was a little kind of a street kid. Okay, like, okay. I was, and so they felt safe that I was there. Instead of versus him being what's not, you know what I'm saying? I get so, it. So yeah, I get it. I they get dropped it. Mm-hmm. us off to see that movie, and I remember fucking just, I stared at that fucking screen. <laughs> 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 she was hot as shit. And that was at her peak, kind of. At her peak, yeah. Kind of okay. at her peak, bro. Got like, you, got so you. She was, it was just. I gotta look, go, I gotta go to back. I gotta go back in. That was a dope movie. <laughs> now you're gonna look I gotta it go up. back and look at the trailer. It was at actually least. a really yep, good movie, yep, though, too, huh? You'll look it up. It was dope. It was? Yeah. Okay. It was kind of like similar to like what nowadays they refer to as catfishing. It was kind of like that but, okay but in those days they would put ads in like these newspapers like for like singles ads oh, and I'm they would so and, and they wouldn't be the person y- yeah no it, it wouldn't be the person so that they basically talked to the wrong person they thought it, would it could be Susan. a guy yeah. it could be, okay so got gotcha, gotcha. Susan, but but keep Susan in mind actually, got it, got keep got in it. mind it's not like dumb and dumber then they, they didn't have uh, <laughs> they didn't have cell phones all that shit right, keep right, in right. mind so it was like a ads, like literally Newspaper, people they had to go to the phone booth and call it whatever. Got you. Know. you. She was in a lot of movies, wasn't she? Madonna? Yeah, I think she was. I don't remember. A any good actress. Uh, not a whole lot, but I think a, at least she maybe a, a handful. Uh, okay. I think a handful. The one, the, I don't, the only one I remember growing up, because I know it was other was a part of, forgive me, but that truth or dare shit, right? See, Wait, wait is that, that the one with Willem oh. Dafoe? That's the one with it. Where, where That's the it, one that was based on her video that yes, she did, right? Yes, like, and, it, oh, okay. and, and it didn't it had a show. Lot of controversy. Yes, it didn't even show exactly. Yeah, they I didn't remember. show it in many theaters. Oh, it was super was, controversial. She was doing yeah. at the time. It was like, like lightweight porn or something. The edge. It yes, was light porn. But she was she doing was shit with animals. other girls. Yeah. Other, other girls. Yeah. That was the time yep. that she was doing. Yep. When, when she yep. did, she was with Dennis Rodman yep. for a minute. Yep. Remember? Yep. I think yep. It was around that, that time. time. And she was just experimenting like crazy. They in posed like book? naked together. Yep. Or yep. 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 What was her book <laughs> yeah. called? I think it was Truth or Dare. It might have been that. That too. was it. I think that was it. Okay. You know who was in her book? Vanilla Ice. And also, uh, Big Daddy Kane. Yes, I remember, I, remember, I, remember hearing about, I remember hearing about that. I remember Here's hearing about that. Here's the thing. I remember hearing about Here's that. Here's the thing, bro. I remember that. I remember At that. the I time, that. Big Daddy Kane caught a little, barely a little yeah. flack because, oh, he's, what's he doing in my... Do- but, bro, I remember, I, I remember that shit. Big Daddy Kane to this day is still one of my all-time Me favorite too. artists Me ever. Too. Me too. And Me too. Uh, Exhibit distant for that. He, he was a pimp, bro. Since Kane fucked Madonna. And, and yeah. Oh. yeah <laughs> <laughs> and and bro, like when I seen that, I was like, yeah, I I thought, yeah, he did it again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and I, I don't know if he did, but I think he did. Yeah, it was in the book, so I'm, I, yeah. sure he did. I'm with you though, bro. She was in there. I think uh, Naomi Campbell was in there. What? Shit. I believe so. Don't quote me on it. Because she was fucking with girls. I knew people too. that yeah. had that. And I remember it. It came out here. It, this He's is right. trippy. It, it was like people. It was like people couldn't even have that. I it was remember like a, yeah. when it came out though. It, they were perfect with it. it. It was like everybody was buying it for people for Christmas presents, right, right, right. but you couldn't find it. It was hardly any yep, copies yep, out. Yep, yep, and yep. so it was like. But a, you didn't know anybody that had it. Nobody wanted to admit but, it. But I found a couple, like, well, not that I found them, but I was somewhere <laughs> and they had this shit. <laughs> and I got to see the actual. I wish I would have got it myself. Right, right. That's how I saw that Rodman picture. And I was like, I can't uh, oh, erase were, that from my uh, head. Now. <laughs> <laughs> 
with, with him, with her and him. He just said Rodman. <laughs> I can't, I can't, can't, like, I can't erase I can't this. Erase I can't from erase it from my Like 30 years ago, however long I mean, ago. Hey, Dude, didn't, I, they, I, didn't they used to call him the worm or something? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. See, that's <laughs> what all Shay thinks about now is the worm. I'm with, I'm with you it guys though. Like fully, hey, you know, still, I'm, I'm with you guys because dude was so freaking weird, bro. He yeah, had yeah. freaking earrings. Every, all That's when his... he first started getting like that too. Yes, because was, when he was on the Pistons, he wasn't really like no, that. No, he was more normal. Yeah, like, and, and, and and not to not to diss anybody's sexuality. Let me say that you know, I yeah. give two fucks. I don't care. No, I don't care. I don't it. care. But he started getting a little. Doing this tranny thing, yeah. you know what I'm wearing saying? Makeup and yeah, wearing makeup, doing a little tranny thing. So I was like, man, what what are you doing, Dennis? Like, then I looked at Madonna, like, what are you doing, Madonna? <laughs> or what did you do to Dennis? <laughs> <laughs> what, did you, what did you do? To, what did you do to Madonna? <laughs> man, why'd you have to do it before you got on the Lakers? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Dennis Rodman's one of the weirdest people to walk this earth, and anybody that denies that is crazy. No, okay. You know what? When I <laughs> The ultimate shit is when I seen his actual homeboy is that dude Kim Jong Un from uh, oh, from uh, uh, South 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 Korea. Korea. Uh, Dictator from uh, South Korea. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, isn't that North Korea? North Korea, yeah, North, North, North. North. Yeah, North, North. Let's, let, well, oh yeah, let's uh, get our sh- hey, Shay's yeah. high. <laughs> uh, he knows more fucking. Fire. He knows more stuff about yeah, that right. than I do, and I was like, wait, he's not from. Oh, but no, but that dude with the weird haircut, little, yeah. little man duck, yeah. dude. That's like oh, his bro. boy, bro. That's his boy. Uh, That's his boy, bro. Like, like, like uh, he looks. He, I guess, Dennis Rodman was like one of like an idol of his. Yes. And then he reached out to him, and Dennis Rodman kicks it with him. Bro. I know. Like, that, that, yeah. some, that's crazy, the weirdest man. shit I've ever heard in my life, bro. Weird shit. That's the, yeah. That's hey, some hey, weird hey, shit. Yeah, I got one more thing. That so means you don't have no friends. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> For real. I'll be Imagine honest. being at that fucking weird <laughs> conversation, dog. Like, yeah, no. I don't want to <laughs> kick it with them, rabbit. I don't care. I don't want to. I like them. to kick it with people, but probably not them. No, bro. no, no. no, no. It, it what are y'all talking about? War <laughs> and drugs? Like, no. Yeah, no. Transvestite. Transvestite. No. Hey, hey well, one more thing about movies, though, while we're on that subject, though. Yeah. Um, so I have a fun fact, then, since you know, also since we were talking about, you know, some of the people that passed. Yeah, right, right, um, right. I don't know if anybody right. remembers this, but Digital Underground, you know, I used to bump their shit, too, right, when they right. first came up. But they actually appeared in a movie back in the early 90s. It was a movie that had... Um, it had a uh, Dan Aykroyd, um, Chevy Chase, Demi I think Moore, I John that. Candy. What was uh, the name? And of the they movie? were in. They were on the scene at the end. They were. They were performing all around the world the same song. Tupac oh, was in it. Right and everything. I think and, I yeah, remember that. Even had the nose and everything. Right, 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 right. Uh, you know what? I, I, I drew a blank on the name and I did look it up. Let me check. Okay. It. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. yeah. Check it because memory. while, oh, while it's called uh, nothing but trouble is the name I, of the movie. Yeah, I remember. I remember that. I remember that. Because remember that. why? Why you were? I, what I was gonna say is on that subject because I did want to bring up Digital Underground too. Man, Shock G. Man, Shock, Shock G. Genius. Shock G. That's what it actually Shock is short for. Are you but, serious? Yes. Yes. Shock I didn't genius. even know that until yeah. right now. Well, it's also for his name. His name's Gregory too, right? Yes. Probably, yes. But, yes. Uh, yes. I'm but learning I, all kinds. Of, okay. But they call, well, that was like a side name. That right. 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 But, right. um, but uh, bro was a he, producer. He was. Yes. They were not only. Yes. I knew he was two rappers within the group, but I I just recently saw he was three of them. And with the, I forgot the third guy's name, but he had a third any, persona. A, anyways, yes. From what I I was reading what? something today that a third persona, but the one of the. Like something that, like a lot of the all around the world, world is same song. song. Like some of these songs are more famous, like the Humpty Dance. Humpty Dance. And, and remember everybody chance. saying, they literally, they were saying, I don't know if this was real, but they were saying they shut down the Burger King bathrooms for a day. Yo, I remember that. I remember that. I remember oh, that. I remember no that. Way, really? I once got no, busy no, in a Burger King bathroom. No, I mean, mm-hmm. since he passed, they were saying yeah, yeah. to uh, recognize yeah, yeah. him, they uh, shut uh, that. Uh, I don't uh, know uh, if that was real. I used to love that line. But what I was going to say is another, like, Really dope song is, fuck, Doug. I don't know if a lot of people know about this one, but what is it? Freaks of the Industry. Yes. You know that Ooh. one. Oh, don't leave me hanging. Ooh. Yeah, 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 Doug. Hey, that was hard. And Freaks of the, the industry. industry. And then he that, said, and he said, so do you a. Do, 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 do you what be? was that all I can't of? remember all the I, At one point I knew the whole song by heart I think it's that just, was their what, first album First it? album? I, I don't know so. if that it was, was one of I their, It was one of their early songs It was On it, Sex it, Packets? Maybe so First okay. or second album But there was another one On one of their newer albums What about Oregano Flow Remember yes. that? Yes! Remember that? Dude Come on bro You're a hip hop head You're a hip hop head Okay look So listen 
And that's the one I forgot about, Shay. I forgot about that one, too. And you know what? I forgot about but that one. But here's the thing. Oregano flow. I'm the, one of the ones. Bro, uh, Dude, I'm going to go bump that. I'm going to go bump that tonight when we get Me home. too. Me too. So what you I was going to say is I'm flow. one of the cats. Just to go back a little on my shit, like hip-hop-wise, like where our area where we grew up, which yeah. is not too far from here where we do the show. Right. I was one of the cats that always had the shit, like, first it's just because i was a hip-hop head like hard like i would research and i would know that somebody else was coming out because i would mm-hmm. listen to this artist and mm-hmm. i would hear this artist mm-hmm. is about to come out mm-hmm. on his own and so i would always know shit that, and i would get like source magazines mm-hmm. and shit mm-hmm. like that right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. back in that day those days i, used to love them I was the cat in the well. hood where they would they would hear new shit from me. From you. So then when they liked it, they would go either buy it or of course dub it as everybody was mm-hmm, doing mm-hmm, back then, mm-hmm. copy it from you. But I mean a lot of stuff I was and I oregano flow, the reason I brought it up is because oregano flow is one of the ones I was telling everybody, listen to this got shit. You. But like got you. I got people on uh Wu Tang Clan, bro. Because over here, not too many people knew right away. I obviously you were the did. one of the first they that did. were on. At it. least in my now area. now they know. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. but at least in my area, when it first came out, I was right. like, and I had it, so people would hear, "Damn, who, who's that?" Right, like, right, right. Go, right. they're straight from like New York. Right, right. This shit's it's hard, this dog. Yeah, rugged yeah, yeah. shit, rugged like, shit with lyrics. Hard, yeah, with lyrics. Hard, but, um, <laughs> yeah, I remember my brother. Uh, um, he hit, he uh, put me hip to Outcast. I remember when they first came out. First album. They're fucking hard. I bought, I bought that. I bought yeah, that, that one. Album, mm-hmm. You, you, can, you okay, can never see, stop bumping it over. See, and I knew we were going to get into hip hop combo. The whole album. I knew we were going to get into hip hop combo. <laughs> so Eventually. I have, I, have a couple, I have a couple, you know, that was one of my things. And since we're on it, you know, um, top groups of all time. Okay. Outcast. Talk to me. Outcast is like. They're, uh, they're, oh, they're my dope. top Did, group of all time, bro. I agree. Your yeah. album was like, uh, yeah, we, yeah, we I agree. bumped that. I agree. That was one of the ones. Which that, one are you talking about? The Classic, Southern Playlist. First one. First one music. Yes, Hands first. down. Southern top, Playlist. Top, top five album of all time. Southern Play, Playlist of Cadillac Music. And, and but then uh, they had others. I had that, though, when it first came out. And then I put, like he was saying, that's when they heard I it. And we literally that, bumped yeah. that. For a whole summer straight. Gotcha. And at the time, I was fucking, yeah, you know what? Allegedly, you know, I was uh, <laughs> I, I was serving Come weed. On, bro. I had the best weed in the air. <laughs> allegedly. In the hood, allegedly. In the allegedly. Hood. allegedly. <laughs> I had the best weed in the hood. and but So we would be out sometimes oh, either shit. going on a mission to pick it up, deliver yeah. it, or we'd be chilling in front of my spot waiting for people to roll by. We had like a drive through on my street. <laughs> And uh, and we'd be bumping Outcast, and dope. cats would roll up, going, "Hey, that's dope." And we got Outcast, or even Out- Out- Outcast, I'll I'll be like, like, go bump it now. Yeah. Bumping on road trips all the way to Vegas or whatever it was <laughs> yeah. to have a suit, we bump it all the way. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 used, I used to love Outcast. T- to me, uh, uh, I, I agree with both of you guys as far as them being a top group of all time. Yeah. I don't know where they would rank. I probably. Mine, they're number one. Ooh. Oh, easily. Ooh. Yeah. But hold up, number one. Oh, the all time easily in hip hop. Yeah. Wu Tang. Yeah. It's no, not Wu Tang. I know. I, I, I'm throwing other other groups at you right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> to second oh, guess. Wu Tang. Oh, no, easily. <laughs> no, Outkast, bro. Because it's hard for me to say one. Star? And this is the why. <laughs> I'm throwing, I'm throwing. And this is why. And and I'll tell, tell you a couple why. of my other groups. Because I'll tell you why I. Slightly disagree. No, here, here's no, and you say years, and you say a couple of years. No, no, I, got I, a I love your selection, mine, but but here's why. Before it's, you give yours, let me let me tell you this. this. Let me just tell you my okay. reason, though. Okay, my reason is because, at, like I said, I mentioned a little bit of it, but at that time in my life, I was going through a lot of, you know, uh, crazy different things. I was doing right. wrong. I was trying to do right, <laughs> more wrong. <laughs> you know, we had. We had chicks around us at that, like, you know, at that time. Like, I was, it it was just a heavy, heavily influential time in my life for me, especially with music. And that, that Southern Playlist of Cadillac music came out at a time. And the perfect time. But then, here's the thing every album they never disappointed me right, so right right I, they just never went down in my book i agree not even okay. speaker box and, and uh that, uh, love I, below 
No, that, that had hits. hits. That, that had, had hits. hits. Nah, it was nah. a little commercial, no. but it had hits. No, but if that you, sleepy nah, they had I like the way on. you move. That shit was. That shit was. That, that shit was. Hard, that shit no, was hits. but besides the hit. Oh, and then the. Uh, oh, Hey, hey, yeah. hey, that, that was a hit. That was a hey, hit. Hey, that yeah. was a hit. That was a hit. That shit went diamond or something. Diamond. Oh, but I just remember there was a couple songs on the Andre yeah. side though. Very weird. Very weird. It was now, just a little now, bit off now, to now me. Now but. that's where that's where I would yeah. put the uh, no. Well, I might agree with you though, Rabbit. I'm telling you, I might agree with you out to be the. Uh, the you know the, uh, the the opposite guy you know what I'm trying to say for the sake of argument um good cop bad cop I think the knock on them would be you know you had the southern playlistic you had the Aquemini you had the, even the the speaker box blah blah guy no but, but there was but, more before let me think of the other ones before uh, what was it uh, the other one uh, with the crazy artwork uh, yes the, the art of storytelling oh, that one and uh, besides Aquemini uh, the one with the, the art of storytelling kinda... good 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 yeah. shit you know what I stand corrected. No, yeah, they had a lot. Of, I know. I understand no, where you guys. You knew where I was going. going. You know where I was going. But here's the thing, though. But that's the thing is part of the genius of Andre three thousand. The evolution is, huh? yeah. dude has so much talent, and he and wasn't gonna stay the same. You even know in that song that uh, that Eminem song, like he puts a. Andre from out. What yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Andre, Ray G, Ray, uh, Reggie, Jay Z, Nas and Biggie, yeah, or Tupac yeah, and Biggie, yeah. whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Andre yeah, yeah. from Outkast, Jada, yeah. uh, Corrupt, Nas, yeah, yeah. and then me, or something. Yep, yep, like yep, yeah. yep. You know what, uh, Rabbit? I, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, wait. Some of your oh, guys. AT Aliens is dope too. That's the oh, same. that's the one. Yes, that's the one I was thinking. Yes, AT Throw Aliens. Your hands in the air. Yes, uh, we're sleepy. Uh, you know what? I can't even deny that, Rabbit. Dude, they're that's so, a great selection. They're so hard to me, bro. And that's then, a great uh, selection. What about you guys? Well, well, to me, I can't. I can never say I have a number one. That's you the talk, thing. It, it's too no. hard because there's other so many. So I, 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 I think I have Shay, like some groups. Not to interrupt you, oh, yeah. but on what you're saying. That's the thing. Uh, my groups. To you. I have a bunch. No, but I have all these other. Well, not a lot of them. I have three or four after that. Right. But that's the one thing I know is like, okay, Outcast is my number okay. one. Okay. And here's the other one. Okay. And I'll throw it in before you get to that. Like, I know it's hard because, like you said, it's. But, okay. NWA, dog. Like. Yes, bro. That's but hard. Outcast to, yeah, outcast, outcast. That's okay. how I like that. that. I like but that. But that's one. how passionate I feel I like about that. that. Like yeah. I like that outcast. You, what about I like, you? Well, well, like, I like, that like for sure, NWA and Outcast are in the like top for me as far as groups. Right. Uh, one of the groups, like I, I feel a lot like I've always like been a big fan is the Dog Pound. I knew uh, you were gonna say that. that. that See, up. they're in my I'm next. Not, I'm yeah, mad yeah. at you right now because I was gonna do some little fancy shit. I'm mad at you right now. I feel you. No, I mean, I'm, I feel you. So much, but, but I even so I mean, much. Dazzling so corrupt, much. of course. But even when they when they're all like with Nate Dog on there, with with Snoop, with uh, Superfly, um, uh, there's a cup badass doing stuff with preach, them, like bro. all them preach. together, like that preach, was the shit. Hallelujah, rest in peace, badass, dude. recipes, rest dad, badass. Peace. Oh man, that badass. was the and homie, Nate, bro. and Nate, yeah, and Nate. That's right. see, see, I never got to meet Nate Dog. We've met his me sons, neither. me neither. But like, um, we've actually like we've chilled here and partied. When our very first year of, of and then we're gonna get back to the groups, but okay. just real quick, um, our very first year of doing the B side show, part of what we were doing is reaching out to some people that were known that we knew personally, kind of, right? Like to get them, and and he's one of the ones that that came on one of the very first son? episodes. No, I'm talking about badass. Oh, badass! Rest in peace, badass! Rest in peace, badass! He, he was on our show, and oh, really and dude. he was on our show a few times, even oh. before he. Before he passed, he was on a show like a few months before that. That's what's crazy. I think it was, I think it was about it, maybe a, almost oh, a year. Was it that long? I thought like it was maybe a half a year. Like wow. But but that was the homie, though. We actually like oh, kicked wow. it with dude. And like one of the first episodes when we had a, uh, the other homie used to run the front of the store that I mentioned earlier, right. Rocky. Right. And we just had a cool party. The a tattoo artist, well-known, known, uh, Tommy Montoya. Okay. All of us were here. They were all on that same episode. I think High Tone was here. Uh, Rocky and all wow, them. We bro. literally had a. This was like ten years ago, dude. Wow. We had a party here. Uh, fucking uh, dog. They were dancing. Like, I know, cause I know you, guys, you guys have some big names here. Yeah. Comes out, uh, brass, cast, I didn't know badass it. though. I we've didn't know. Kicked it with these dudes. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. badass used to hit me. I had this job right, and he used, would hit me randomly like, dog, and and he go, hey, what's up, rabbit? He goes. I'm going to be in the SGV. He always knew SGV area. And he go, I'm going to be in the SGV area. 
the smoke one and, and a couple times i could meet him a, a, a couple crazy. times i'm like bro i'm not getting off work i'm way over here and like i was like in redondo beach right or some right shit. right or i remember at the time but he was over here and i'm like man I, but next time you're in the area we used to smoke we used to kick it rest he in was, peace badass yeah, and, cool. and, and and to so those people that don't think like badass had the big catalog oh, he, he, man. they they sleeping Oh, and real. he had a hit that dog pound against me putting it down. That shit was all over the radio yeah. station. And what about him being the only feature on the Machiavelli? Besides the Outlaws, he was the only feature Dude, on the, you're, like on the Machiavelli you're, album. Remember? You're on your game today. Yeah. Yeah. You're on your game today. You're yeah, bro. This is just random talk. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, time goes by. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. The song Crazy. Crazy. Song crazy. Classic. And and, and I tell people this. And it's my opinion, and I love me some Tupac. Anybody knows me, love I, I, Tupac's always in my top five. I think Badass got the better of him on that song, bro. Oh, on that one, yeah. Badass is the oh, is remember, the highlight of that song. And then remember, don't Come get on. the wrong idea, bro. Yes, ooh, that's hard, that's hard. with cocaine, with cocaine. Homie, Shout right? out cocaine, cocaine, bro. Right you already know, bro. Oh, <laughs> hey, uh, he got a new one with Spanky Loco coming out. Oh, hey, dude! I seen he's. he's I saw been, that shit. Yeah, yeah. Let's get back to what you were talking oh, about. Oh, no, no, last last couple groups, and then I'll, then you go to yours. Well, later. I was okay. gonna say the groups. Yeah, I, I was gonna say Dilated Peoples is up there. Oh, on my, on my, and, hard, of course, bro. Wu Tang oh. and, and the Far Side. You know, those are okay. some of the groups. Ooh, you know. ooh, the Far Side! You're killing me right now. <laughs> yeah. God, I probably I think I said more than five. I was supposed yeah. to pick the top five. No, it wasn't five. even. I see. That's the thing. Far side. I never specified. Oh. Yeah. Three or five because there's oh, so many, and that's yeah. what I was saying. So I have oh. me, I have like Outcast, NWA, and then after oh. that, here's what I'll say. Listen to this, and you guys are I, not. I'm gonna do it just like you did. I'm gonna do it just like you did. You guys are not sleeping on it, but I'll do it just like you did. People are as far as groups go. Because I could just e go like him. Just hey, keep going, keep going. EPMD, bro. Oh, oh come on. So I go Outcast, oh, NWA, on, EPMD, come and, and then on, I got bro. like. Dog Pound, Cypress Hill, and oh. and and uh and Psycho Cypress. Realm. And Ooh, Psycho, Psycho Realm. I can't I even love, believe I missed Cypress too. I, oh, Cypress. Fuck, but I, I used to I, love Psycho so Realm. That dude uh, with the voice. Oh, uh, uh, Duke, 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 big yeah, Duke. Big yeah, Duke. Yeah, his homie. voice was hard, yeah. bro. Yeah. I used to love that. That's our voice. homie right there. Too, Shout out uh, to. And he had bars too. If you if you get past the bro crazy style, he had bars. That's what I was gonna say. What trips me out about them. They got lyrics, but then he was flipping styles. He was flipping styles. Before it right. was kind of popular. Right, to flip styles, like. right. So you got lost in his style, yeah. but he was spitting bars, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm mad at myself for not mentioning Psycho Rome and Cypress yeah, because yeah. those are yeah. fucking up. No, Cypress, sure. bro. But Cypress. that's what I said. Okay, there it is. There's, I go Outcast. I go Outcast, NWA. Uh, EPMD, and then it's like oh. a, a, a blend, bro. Psycho Realm, Cypress, and Dog Pound. Yeah, they're so hard, bro. All yeah, of them, bro. bro. Dog, yeah. dog, all oh, of them, bro. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do now. Okay. I know what I'm gonna <laughs> do now. See, we're making up. Like sometimes it might make you think of, oh shit, I forgot these dudes. Right, right, right exactly. Yeah. So um, this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> My my, the, my my don't my honorable mentions are gonna be more interesting than my top two. I'll put like <laughs> so my top two, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna front. I, I want to say other groups. I really do, cause I like I'm like you guys, man. I'm, I've been listening to this for years, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. So I want to say other groups, but just like you fell back on the 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 ones that impacted you and you did too. I'm gonna do the same. Uh, freaking Wu Tang, bro. Yeah, yeah. They... I mean, I mean, I, I want to say another group because as as I grew up, I I like different shit. But like he said, like how it hits you, when it hits you, and 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 and, and, and you know, it, it impacted you. And the fact that they could do it with that many members, that, yes, to yes. all complement each that other. That part, bro. That's hard. That, it was so many. To, you know, if you're not in That's the mood for Ghostface, yeah. you, you you can have some. Some some RZA, RZA's too hardcore for you. You can have some uh, some and 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 that whole and you know what? I'm gonna keep it real. Uh, it's coming to me. The music they had certain certain members had super bars. Some of them had cool bars. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, some had super ones. Some had all right. But is the image? Oh yeah. They may have this Gambino image. Rugged, this, bro. You, this rugged New York like mobster and then, image. And then also with the the karate stuff with the, the, with the karate, stuff, get the, the kung, kung fu, fu added to it. It, it made it bigger than life. You know what I'm trying to say? You 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 think of Wu Tang, you don't even think about the nine members. You think about the hundred people in the video that are wearing Wu Tang shirts. Like what the fuck is going on in New York, right? And so. It, 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 you know, Method Man, come on, Method Man, uh, 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 
Jizza. Jizza. He was fucking You beat me hard. to the punch. I was, that's where I was going. That's where I was going. The Jizza. Because those uh, certain ones I would buy their solo joints. Uh, Method Man, Jizza, Raekwon's first album. Yeah. Um, um, you know, certain hey, ones. Hey, let me ask you because this is a debate I always hear no, people no, talk about. No, 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 don't get to it yet. No, no, not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Remember it. Remember it. Okay. I already know. I already know. What you already know what he's going to say? Okay, I okay. My, I have it on the list. Perfect, later, perfect. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And my other ones, it's going to be three, not two, not two. It's going to be three. Um, cause I, <clears throat> dog pound. Yeah, I yeah, want to sure. say I want to say another group. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm a blood. You can obviously see, but yeah. look, I grew up. I, number one, I grew up in Linwood with a bunch of Crips. Uh, number, uh, first, grow, you know, so I, I have a bunch of Crips friends that mm-hmm. growing up. So I don't, I don't care about this color or anything. That means nothing to me. Like you know, what I'm trying to say, like if you're a cool man or person, that's what it's all yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. So if you're not mature, then you're really an idiot, and you're holding the culture back. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? So the fact that these dudes were Crips meant nothing. <laughs> like these dudes were the hardest, and like you said, it was the whole. Uh, the whole image, the whole the package. Uh, Nate, the package, the Nate dog. Yeah. You got badass. Because you could get everything. You, you get everything it. you need. Yeah. You need some badass. Some you got Dre Nate. beats. Some, some Dre beats. Some, some Daz beats. beats. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? You got some Superfly if you need some Superfly. Get a, uh, a, 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 a Pac feature. Get a Pac feature. And they would get the, even some of the e. White. in the background. Shoot. The, who was the, the guitar guy? There's the guy on the guitar. Um, uh, uh, Stan, Stan the, the man. Guitar man. Stan the guitar Stan man. The big pimpin, the poetry guy. And then Chris the Glove did something. The glove the, was like, on the base. Shout out to mm-hmm. Chris, the yeah. Chris the glove. Shout out Chris the glove. The, they just the collaboration. The, 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 the poetry guy the, on Big Pimpin. He was oh, yeah. essential. Oh, that's right. Come on, you know, like the, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was like the, the that was like the kung fu shit in the in the wu shit. So like, and and with the with the dog pound, it was it, it, it with, with it, Daz had beats and Daz had had style. I liked his style too, but corrupts bars Hell. are what sold me. You know what well, I'm trying to say? But, hey, to go with Daz's style. Well, see, Cause it made it cause dad made it seem Daz made it seem key. street. Daz made it seem street. Well, that, but corrupt made it seem like, oh, these motherfuckers is street and they on a whole nother level. That, you, that, you, that's the key right there about the the uh Kim the thing of a group. The right. dynamic there right. that's the word I was looking at. The, right. dynamic, the dynamic of a group, of a group. is because you, yeah, you had corrupt just kind of barring out, barring kind of, out. But then Daz would flip different styles, styles and on kind you. of do a chorus to the chorus, beat. Yes, and he yes. had the the hooks and different yes. shit, and that's and what the makes combination. The group. Yeah, yeah. It, it, same with Outkast, like you said, the Big Boy was a little street. He he made you think more street, but then when out when when Andre Space like oh. They're street and they're lyricists. He right? experimented a little more, I guess <laughs> right. you could say, but they both. You know, uh, Big Boy's done it too, though. Big Boy's. Oh li- no, he's talented. He's, he's lyrical some too. Shit. He's lyrical. Yeah, yeah. It's just the image. You yeah. think of Big Boy? Think of little some Chuck Taylors, maybe. Hey, right? any more? Wait, let me oh, ask oh, you this: I'm, I'm, any oh, more I'll groups? Finish. Yes, yes, I'll finish them off. No, right. because I just wanted to say, if there's no more groups, one quick story, and then uh, we're gonna take a quick segment in a sec. But yes, um, one quick story I wanted to say: Outcast being, you know, my favorite group of all time, bro. Um, one of the honors of of my hip hop career, I guess, yeah. whatever it is, uh, bro. I got to uh, host uh, a big boy w- when he was doing the tour with uh, with uh, Sleepy Brown, nice. and uh, you know it wasn't it was it wasn't an Outcast tour, but the thing is, I'm just a fan, and they did some of those joints nice. too. Sleepy Brown's been all them done. You hosted joints. it. I hosted that shit at the observatory in OC. Dope, bro. Shout out to like Droops and all them that, right. that got Quit me involved. Quit these do it up yeah. there. Yeah, and I and I hosted that. And at the end, right when yeah. it got to them, I got to say, "Okay, coming up, stay tuned." Right. So here's the thing. So then their DJ started getting lined up and everything. But I guess they must have heard kind of like how I kind of hyped the crowd. And I and I do do that. Right, I'll, I'll right. say that, bro. Like and and I and I'll, I'll mix it with a little bit of. I try to be a little, you know, comedian. Right, 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 right. Funny right, things right. here and there, keep the crowd lighthearted. But I get them pumped up, and they literally. I guess their DJ usually kind of announces. Okay. The DJ and I guess even them. I don't know because I didn't see the. Somebody fuck. requested yes. you. <laughs> so I waited. I went behind the stage because they cleared the whole stage when they went up. I went behind and I told him, okay, cool. I, I'm not going to announce it. But I said, I, I said, and then, and at the time, I think it was his wife that was his manager. Okay. I, I, think, I think so. Don't quote me on that. Okay, but okay. Um, I go, I'm going to wait behind the stage. 
because I at least need a flick. And this is my favorite group. Like, they're my favorite group of all time. Right, right. I, I'm hosting this shit. Right, right. I want one benefit <laughs> I, out of this motherfucker. Get a picture, please? And I don't know, like, fucking paparazzi <laughs> shit. I just right. want to let me get a flick with my group, my, my favorite group, right? Right. So I was right there, and I had waited. And luckily, I did because they came back to me. And I think it was that lady. She came back and goes, hey. They want you to announce them, Duh. and I said, and and I, and I said, what? I thought the D-, and the DJ even told me oh, you were keeping the crowd lit. Duh. He goes, this gives me a chance to concentrate because he Duh. started the show right with the. He gets the chance. He was to flexing get his shit a little. Together. So he goes, you announce them, and I was like, fuck yeah! <laughs> and then I literally went like, yeah. Dope, so so bro. I got to get. That was just one of my highlights. No, no, don't, 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 don't yeah, down. Yeah, no, yeah. that's dope, bro. No, no, don't put up. Oh. Upvote your uh, accomplishments. Uh, okay. I, I I had to say one more, just be, before I I'm gonna forget. give my, I'm gonna give my last one yes, after you. You got to give one, but uh, yep. one of them. Another one was I got to host a joint with uh, Dog Rock Him. I introduced Rock Him to the nice. stage and took a picture nice. with him. Everything like. Hey, bro. Rock That's a him. conversation for another time Ooh. with the solo rappers, with the greatest solo rappers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. My, what about you? Bro? My, my my final ones for you go to segment rabbit. Um, top one, Mob Deep. Mob Deep hit me hard, bro. They hit oh. me hard. Dog, we didn't say Mob. Nobody said. Come Mob on, Deep. I had to. I had to do it, rabbit. Come on, Nobody said Mob I had to do it, Deep. rabbit. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. were impactful. Yeah. They, 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 they prodigy havoc yeah. okay so my honorable mentions just run them down i know y'all okay my honorable mentions um 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 uh uh, 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 uh alcoholics um oh. shit we forgot that come, come on come, oh come on alcoholics I, 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 I gotta put them in no. there man because they impacted me uh uh cypress hill um and uh 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 uh, uh, uh Diggable plant? No, not diggable. Diggable planets. Yo, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Diggable planets. No, no, I like that soul hard. shit. That shit. That shit dope. hit me. They yeah. were on a uh, different style it was at their time. Different shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I, bought, I had bought their tapes. Okay, okay. yeah, you I bought them too, so you know what I'm talking about. Besides yeah. the the obvious, uh, you know, the cool like that that everybody knows. Yes, that one song that. Well, Nickelback of uh, Creamy Spies. Cre- oh, I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the creamy spies. Yeah, yes, yes. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Oh, dude, that should have And the last honorable mention, Death Squad. Death, Death Squad. Dude. Hey, does that count? That, that count come on, that's a group. group. Yeah, that that's counts. a group. Yeah. They, 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 that's a group. Yeah, Keith Murray. Red Keith Murray, Red. Red and, 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 uh, and, and uh, Eric Sermon, yeah. yeah. Eric Sermon was yeah. giving him the beat. So, okay. Everybody knows what that is most of the time. And then we're, we're going to, and, and on that note, uh, you know, the wrestling reference there uh, coming soon to, I'm going to just say it here. We got something to do with wrestling coming soon mm. to a podcast station near you so mm. uh, yeah that's i won't give out right too here. much but it's in oh, it's in the works oh, and it's looking ferocious oh. hey so we went through our groups right now yes um which was dope just a couple of things we were just having a i told you man i uh thank you for coming through my brother mm-hmm. um i told you i just wanted to have a just like we were we're just rambling about hip-hop it's awesome but bro. we go from one thing to it because one thing makes you think about this yep. makes you think about every that time. Every but um time. let's go with uh I, I want to say what I call them is uh, street singles, kind of mm. or B sides. Mm. And okay. here's some Ooh. of my top ones. And and the only reason I say that is because uh, like sometimes they weren't like a main single single per okay. se. Okay. Because I don't believe that this one that I'm gonna say is probably one of my top ones of all time. And okay. he, he actually is one of the homies too. Okay. Uh, Pistol Grip Pump Volume Ooh. Ten. And I say that because I don't think it came out mm. as an actual single, mm. but it was like... It, it oh, was, it didn't. I don't know if it it came out like that. I can't remember, but I know it was like... It was something that leaked off. I, I, okay, I'm going to have to go... Pump yeah. Yeah. Up well, it I it just because uh, Baker Boys produced it and they yeah. were on the radio at the time, so they were able to play they it. They broke it, sure and, it and then I think it kind of... Yes, yeah. yes, Rabbit. I yes. believe so, and don't... Quote That's what happened. It. Yeah, me but, either, but I think that I kind of call it street single just because it was just it wasn't like a love song. It wasn't. And that. it didn't. It was a hard like song, dog. Hard man. It's a good pump. One, one of the love hardest hip hop songs of all time, yeah. bro. And he and uh, you know, I didn't know he was an MC. Who volume? Yeah. Oh, when I was a kid, I just, I thought like man, is he like is some, is some 
I love the song. But as I grew up, I was like, oh, he's he's a spitter. I learned he got bars. Like, he really got bars. Oh, bars. but his styles. Yeah, because he was off. another one his, we just talked about exactly. earlier, but he flipped styles, bro. It's, the styles threw me off. And, and and you know what? One time, well, a couple of times we got to have him on the B-side, too, and we talked about that, and it was a thing of uh, uh, pausing to get back in his pocket, but as part of, it was weird the way he described it yes but the way he described it was crazy to me because it all made sense it it, it was pausing for a purpose kind of like mm-hmm. it gives it an effect and then you come back and, the, and it's almost like he, he would kind of be it would sound like he was off but then he was right back in the pocket like yeah dog he's he's got he exactly styles bro. exactly and exactly. a lot of his a lot of his joints he flipped styles after you go i have two of them i've thought of two and you're going to love them, Rabbit. You're going to love one Wait, for sure. Wait, go ahead. You go because it might be one that I might ah! have. Okay. Let's see. And my two, my two B-side joints. Or And it don't have to be. Uh, okay. Let me, let, me, let me think of it. Let me kind of reword it. Okay. Because one of mine might not fit in. But it's like a B-side, a street single, or something that wasn't super mainstream of a song, I got guess it. you could say. But it was dope for me. Okay. Like, yeah, there you go. So Pistol Grip Pump, what do you got? Okay, these two are mine. <clears throat> last, last time we interviewed, we talked about Puff and Grunge Tank Right. Come on. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about that. Oh, yeah. That's right here. I uh, have that. You have that. I'm not going to touch it. I'm, let, I'm, let, uh, I'm not going to touch okay. it. Okay. Rabbit, rabbit knows I love that one. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not, I, I knew hard. you were going to have it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going right to right let you talk about that one. Yeah. So my two are, um, I know, the first one you're going to love, I know it. I don't know if you're not. Dude. Yeah, you are. You're a hip-hop. You know East Coast. I'll do the East Coast one first. Um, um, Smith and Wesson, remember the cats? Uh, uh, yeah. Um, East Coast, it's Smith and Wesson. Which one are you gonna say? Boot can't click. Heads ain't ready for the click. We got heads ain't ready. Okay. That was it. Was an underground. It was a remix. They had the original. The beat was trash. The remix, I think, it was beat miners or something. Banger. Okay. On that note, just to add to it, and you can continue with yes. what you were feeling about that. But it was them that did that. It was that remix with Mary J. Yes. Oh no! You're making me mad now. Yeah, I know. No, 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 no. But he, that he fucked me up. He fucked me up. He I made my up. own shit. He fucked me up. He fucked me up. I made my own shit. I used to put my own. He me. Uh, I used to make my own uh, cassettes <laughs> with my joints, and that was one of the ones oh, I would God. always put on there. That uh, what was the name of it? Uh, I shine. You shine. You shine. Yeah. Uh, it was the remix to oh, "I Love You," bro. You rabbit, rabbit. We got the same thing, bro, bro, bro. I love you. I love. Come on, man. Come on. Hey, bro, you you rabbit know. Rabbit, fuck me up. Rabbit, fuck me up. Rabbit, fuck me up. Hey, dog, that shit. I'm so shit. mad that I didn't say that. I'm so mad that I didn't that say that. That song can't. is hard Talk about shit. Talk about Tell them, Rabbit. Tell them, Rabbit. Tell them. Did, didn't bro. they change their, their name later? Yeah, they changed it to Coco Brothers, but they changed Coco it back. Brothers, they, yeah. they, they, get, oh, they got they it back. Okay. They got it back. It was because of the gun The thing. gun thing. Yeah, yeah. But, but at, Rabbit is a real hip-hop oh, head. Where's that, the camera? Right there, right I there. I that shit on Man, my shit. Yeah. remix to I Love You by Mary J. Blige there featuring Smith & Weston. It was her remix. It was her remix. Okay, there you that go. That is one of the hardest yeah. uh, uh, underground joints of all time. Rabbit. And I'm, that sounds like Rabbit. a street single to me. Rabbit, you, it is. It Even was, though it Mary J. singing. That's a street single. That's a street single. You single. fucked me up right. with that one, bro. Hey, you fucked you me up with that one. You got one, Shay? Because we're going to keep oh, this going. Oh, let me finish. My, my, okay. my, my last one. And you you guys will love it. Oh, I know you guys know. You guys, I might the, have it on here, too. The Dr. Dre. Okay. Let me ride. Remix with that fret with that dope ass beat with Snoop and Daz rapping on it. Okay, I let I, me ride. Could you go, go, come on? The, the okay. Let me ride remix yeah, yeah, with George Clinton on it. Been a while. Though. I it was know George Clinton on it. Here's yeah. the thing: Daz and Snoop was on it. I know I heard it, but it's not coming to me right now. So I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna okay. do right okay. now. Okay, let me ride remix. Okay, and when you hear the beat, you're gonna be like. I can't believe, because the beat was one of those ones where, like, you, you know, go, or, ahead, go ahead, your turn. What do you consider, <laughs> if you have one, do you have one? So, well, let's see, so you consider something like, so maybe it wasn't like too, too, like. It was main, under main, the, main it was either, it was either, yeah. it was either actual B, B-side or under the radar, okay, super well, under the radar. Or like a, straight street single. Uh, well, I'll say single. something like, um, uh. The dog pound with uh. See, we're all going, uh, we're all having something with that. <laughs> the one with the dog pound with the loonies, remember? My buddy. Oh, I'm mad at you buddy. now. I'm mad at you now. But I'm wait. mad at you now. I'm oh, mad that was now. one of those. I'm mad at you now. Buddy. Yeah, I'm mad at you. I'm, I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you. My oh. buddy. My buddy. I'm going to dap you up so bad hey, right now. That one was hard. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> hey, I give you that. That was oh, yeah. that rapid. Was he got that us. Oh. Came, you know. Okay, my buddy. All right, here's oh. one, and I don't know. Maybe it won't be considered in that. I maybe it's too. <laughs> maybe people. Yeah, they went all four of them. Just went. Oh, oh like, yeah. Boom, like, Different you know, like, styles. Fire. And right to the beat. Fire, but bro. What about my this? Buddy, what do you guys buddy. consider this one? Maybe it's not in this, but Come on. 93 two. Yes, oh, oh, I love course. that. No, yes, I'm is with that, you. Classic. Is that no, in this? No, no, no. That, that reminds me of uh, basically high school. Like me too. It reminds me of when I was That's actually I was like a senior in high school, and like Bro, oh, I, did, I, just, I just aged stuff. myself. Damn, I did it. But dial yeah, the no, but, seven digits. No, Your no, man's yeah, a midget. Yeah, yeah. No. Hey, the husband. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, "What do you say? Did I hit the theater." The, 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 oh my and, god! And the main reason why I agree with you so much on yeah. that rabbit, and, and you, Jay, Shay, because that song was it, it was a, it was a street record. Period. Yeah. yeah. As time went on, it got the classic tag. Then it got that. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Then I'm uh-huh. right. Then uh-huh. that yep. was yep. in that. Joint. But that was a street joint. Yeah. That was a great street banger. Yeah, and, 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 it was something they did play on the radio, but the thing it it, it wasn't it never got played out though. Never. Ever. Never. Like, and they would play it on like 99.1. They wouldn't like yeah. mainstream mainstream is like like you know what i'm saying they were underground oh God, you know man. great selection but that shit is great selection so hard of a song you're making me, me think bro. of uh oh, oh, the hieroglyphics oh, yeah yeah that's the, oh, yeah. yeah and uh uh what, uh what and then the other one i'll just say it because you already mentioned it but oh, it definitely is a, it's a b-side i think it was on it was, the trade it was a trade day, day? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. uh the b-side it was on the single, no one hardly the had that though yeah. no it one was had the cassette it was the cassette single smoking blunts and drinking Tangeray. Anybody listening to this when this drops, um, which it will <laughs> Tell soon, them, um, Tell them, bro. make sure you look that up if you love some classic, and especially Man, Dog Pound, uh, produced by Dre. Bars. This was never on any official album. It was a bars. B-side. Um, it had, uh, uh, I think, was it Snoop on there? Yeah, Raz, Rage. Rage. Um, corrupt and corrupt, corrupt killed it at the end with a long oh. ass, and you could tell he was freestyling. Yes, yeah, yeah. and that's yes. what made it even doper. That was one of the hardest freestyles I've think, ever heard in my life. And bro. I think that's why it never made an album because it was just unorthodox. It was. It, it was, was him rapping for a long ass. But it's classic, hard, bro. It's Hell classic. Yeah. Rage killed it. If you're a hip hop oh. head and Come really on, like. Man. Fools rapping than that smoking blunts and drinking tank. That's right. like the West Coast oh, version of like your classic East Coast ciphers, right? Yeah, yeah. That, that's like the that's like one of the hardest. That West was kind of how they did it, too. yeah. But just with a West Coast beat, the the concept, you know, smoking oh, blunts. Let, they let, were having a good time in the studio and let, they just yeah, went off. Let yeah. me tell you a secret about that that corrupt verse, because like like you, Rabbit, and like you, Shay, we study bars. Yeah, <clears throat> that whole verse. He dissing um, cocaine and the Butler Law. That whole freestyle. Oh, shit. As God's my witness. Tearing them up. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, because you had to go back and listen to Cocaine's first album. Go listen to Cocaine's first album. I think it was the last song on the album. I think it was Don't Bite the Funk. And they go, and this is when the, the, the Ruthless and, 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 and the Dog Pound was beefing. And so, the Don't Bite, don't bite the Funk. Uh, 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 Big Hutch, you know, um, uh, um, yeah, yeah, Cole, Cole, one eighty seven, and 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 and, and cocaine go in on the dog pound. Uh, Snoop Dogg, you you, 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 you way you way this much. I mean, dude, they were k- k- killing him, and so Snoop really didn't respond because they ended up squashing it. Daz said a little couple of slick lines, but listen to that corrupt freestyle. I'm rough and rugged enough to do dirt. I'm from the dog pound, nigga, so I'm putting in work. I'm no joke. Who the fuck you trying to provoke? 187. This cold how his ass got smoked. Oh, oh I got you. Bro. I got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Like that. And he kept going. I don't drink no fucking VSOP. Come on, that was the above the law. VSOP. Oh, I don't I, drink okay, no that fucking I VSOP. I drink, no fucking I drink VSOP. the motherfucking OGOE. OG. Yeah, yeah. I'm the click that be kicking the gut. Come hey, yeah, hey, yeah. bro, man. Can't claiming your cocaine. And Cavi, when you blow up, yeah, oh, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, blow up, blow up is like in, in the they say it's, it's, it's bad crack. C- 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 claiming your cocaine when you blow up, yeah. <laughs> like, 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 yeah. like, like, like that whole corrupt verse. He's eating cocaine and a butter law, bro. Hey, and what's That's crazy great, is bro. they're like uh, in the same group now too. They're, they're uh, best friends. They're, yeah, they're, they're yeah. click, click. But, yeah. but I remember back in the day with Easy yeah, and when- Dre. The the soldiers took sides. Well, and you so, know what? Right. So and easy soldiers time, and then Dre soldiers. At the even time, did bone thugs, I think, got a couple yes. things. No, too, no, they, no, no, no. I don't. Uh, uh, ain't got no love for no hoes in harmony. Yeah, Come I on, remember you remember that? that? Hey, yeah. And and that's the thing. Like at the time, some of them might have still even been cool, but at, with 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 the records that were put out, 
they had to show they had that. to show their loyalty yes, to Easy exactly. or to Dre to so whoever. And, yeah. and, and as like like the rabbit said, you see now, I mean, corrupt and and, and cocaine, dirty OGs. The they got they're in the same OGs. group. They're in the same freaking group. Bro. Hey, and that shit. Snoop goes and hard. cocaine got some of the classic songs that we've ever heard. Oh like, hell yeah! You know, it, it, you know, it just made me think of one more single too that's dope, but which made me actually go back to another group that I forgot to mention was the Click. Oh, 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 E40? Oh, oh, yeah. Be legit. Be legit. Yeah. Yeah. D shot. Then, uh, sugar T. Sugar T. Uh, remember Hot Ones? Hot Ones echo yes, through yeah. that kid? Hey, ho, man. But they had a gang of underrated. Songs, but that one like just came to me right now. Bone like, Thugs, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bone Thugs. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's sorry, Rabbit. One. I can't he believe I didn't mention them either. Bone Thugs. <laughs> Bone Thugs. Hey, I, always, I had all their albums too. Me too. Man. You guys are making. I'm like trying to think. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, Rabbit. No, I'm trying to I'm think sorry, of another one now, dog. I'm trying to think of. No, but you know what? That that one that 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 I forgot about was that when he brought up the My Buddy. I forgot about that collab, dog. Like that was hard. That's one of my favorite songs of all time. I haven't heard it in years. Thank you. I'm bumping that and i'm bumping that um ahmad tonight yeah, hey you yeah. know what you know what i wanted you know what i wanted to hear and this is kind of well it's not off topic because today we're just talking hip-hop right but, right um something that i kind of wanted i was interested to hear Talk more to and they said they were still going to get back to it but what's up they did a song called fuck i can't remember the name of it now it's a weird title but it was it was uh the beat nuts and the alcoholics Oh, they yeah. were called the Lick, nu- Lick, Lick Nuts. nuts. Yeah. Lick Nuts. Oh, I forgot that I forgot shit. the name of it, but Bro, I, I was interested in hearing more of them too. together because I... Because it was supposed to be a group, right? Yes, they, they, they were going to do a collab. And the last time Lick I talked nuts. to... They, I think they said did that, have one, sing, uh, one uh, a video they yeah, did like together. Yes, and something. I can't remember yeah. the name of it. Me it neither. was something, I want to say Gator or something. Hip-hop fans wanted that, bro. I... I, I wanted to hear I was just interested in like okay if this song sounds like this I want to hear more of this I want album. some more of this Lick Nuts yeah, album the bro Lick Nuts yeah. Lick these nuts <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey we're done I think with the, the singles <laughs> yes. unless anybody has any more because I can't think anymore off top. I'm sure we're missing <coughs> well that one I didn't even actually write them ahead of time but these just came to my head right now well, that's I what I was thinking I'm me trying too to it think came to my head the, the, the B-side singles I'm trying to think of something I missed that like, Dr. Dre Let Me Ride remix mm-hmm. that Mary J. Blige, that, that Rabbit talked about. You guys need to go listen to that. That That's a classic. Man. Okay, so what about, uh, wait, before I just thought of one more because we we're on, but what about Three Card Molly that you brought up that with? That was a classic too. That was a single. Off, uh, uh, off some, uh, off uh, soundtrack? Uh, it was off Exhibit's album, but it was like a track that didn't get any. No, but before that it came you're right, out on you're something right. else. No, you're right. And then Exhibit used it on his album. You're right. I but forgot, I, I forgot. It might have right. been a soundtrack. It was a soundtrack. I it think. was either a soundtrack or they debuted it somewhere, and then everybody was going. Now we, and then people were saying, "We got to hear more of this." Right, now, but it never right. came out either. It never came out. A lot of that shit. Sucked. I hate that shit. Yeah, me man. too. Give me those groups, those yeah. super groups. Give me the shit we want to hear, man. <laughs> Let us put together a couple, man. We'll put together. That'll be our next one. Put together we, super groups. Yeah, we're we're gonna oh, we'll, because I can't think off top me right neither, now. Me neither. But we're gonna we got to get together and oh. talk again. Because Westmore is gonna be dope. Though. That's gonna be dope. Oh, that was cool. That's that one, dope. I get. I like that. Yeah, I like that too. collaboration. Me yeah. too. I and like I, that. And I'll tell you why. Talk to Because <laughs> all four of them um, have not only their following, they but legend. funky music legend. I mean legend. That goes without saying. But funky shit. But they all flip different styles. In I my agree. opinion, that the, the way agree. they flip is. I agree. Like E forties on a different shit than like. You know, even though he's done a lot of stuff, like they've have, oh, they have classic singles together. Short, classic. short, and uh, E forty. Yes, yes, uh, yes. A combination of all four of them have different, a bunch of different. Yeah, and I think they're too, both man. the top tier in their respective categories. You know yeah. what I'm trying to say? Because you know, Ice Cube is the militant kind of. You no, know, Snoop is the gangbanger type. E forty is this player drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? And, and two, two shorts to pimp. pimp. Right? You know what I'm saying? They all have the... B.I. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Longevity is crazy. Too yes. Short. Yes. Oh, man. And he still and he sounds... Really he still style, sounds new. He still sounds new. But he's still... Yeah. yeah that's what's up. <laughs> and then, real quick, I mean, I don't have a whole list on this. Just before we get into the... You know, I th- the rabid, rapid, rabid, rapid round, fire. Uh, rabid, rapid fire, whatever the yeah. fuck. We're, rapid, we're still rabbit. working on that. But here we go. Rapid fire. Yeah, I hope not to be too rapid because, <laughs> you know, but my, my you know, um, what I was going to say is um, um, underrated. Like the first thing that comes to mind, 
just automatically, whether it's even in production or lyrics, but to me as DJ Quick, I just I feel like Excellent. he's one of the ones Excellent. that that Excellent. Him Excellent. and and then Excellent. I'll say and then I would say like I mean, these are just people like I don't understand why they're not like a little bit like even bigger, bigger even bigger than I know. Everybody knows DJ Quick, right. but it's like you're dead on. Maybe he needs you're like, dead sell on. more units. Like you're dead on. Why not? And and you're dead on. and the other one is like as, especially as a lyricist, but Raz Kaz is another one. I just oh. feel like he's known. Everybody knows him. He's got his respect, mm-hmm. but it's like. I feel like he, Underrated. Should, he should be a little Underrated. bit bigger, like, right? A lot bigger, bro. Yeah, I'm with yeah. you. Yeah. Underrated, man. You go, you, you Shay? Shay, you have any that you could think of? Underrated? Or oh, as producer? Either, either one. Either one. I, I'm just thinking this just came to mind right now. Either one. Well, I mean, well, I, I just, like, I, well, I thought you said as a producer, but so that came to mind right now. It was as a producer, I think Daz is underrated because there's a lot of uh, songs that people don't know that he produced. Like, I agree. Yeah. You know, like, mm-hmm. unless, you, you know, you're really, like, like, Very you know, underrated really, as like, a producer. Like even like you know like two, a lot of stuff on Tupac, uh, mm-hmm. all like, mm-hmm. albums. Mm-hmm. Oh, the hardest mm-hmm. one mm-hmm. that I liked on the double. Well, well, bitches is a well, rider. Yeah, there Come you go. How do you know what I was I gonna say? Come on, know that he produced. You know he produced a lot of that. Dude. Like if it come, uh, I want to start so, fucking. We're gonna go into karaoke. So after the, yeah. All right, what do yeah. you, you have? Any? Yeah. Okay, mine. Either producer or artist. Uh, producer or artist. Ah, underrated. Most underrated. We're talking about all time, right? Um. Yeah. I mean, that's just what came off Girl, top. The first, I always think, think that. I don't know underrated. why, but for for quick for some reason because his musical talent as right, well. Right. Right. Because I've seen him perform with like his live band. Right, and me, yes. Me too. Me too. And yes. and. Dog, and it's like I just feel like he's underrated, bro. No, like you're, you're, musically, people don't know when Jay Z recruits don't, you. Yes, yes, people don't know how musically inclined that he is, really, because it, it's not always talked about. I got, I don't know. When Jay Z recruits you, yeah, to, to to get on his album, his final black album. What was that? Justify my thoughts. My man, that was my hard man, as shit. my man. That song was hard. Come though. on, and, and he slept on. He's underrated. Yeah. Okay, so mine, Rabbit. Would be, I'll give it. I'll give it to the homie Cocaine. Oh, I think okay. most. I give it to right. the homie Cocaine, oh, bro. Dude, most. I think he's featured, real underrated, most bro. Most featured right. artist in history. You know, and I'm a competitive well, at least of hip hop. Uh, in hip hop, for sure. And I'm com- sure. I'm competitive. Like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I, like in the field of rap. I don't, I don't. Like, I'm not gonna turn down any, you know, challenges. I'm, What's but, up, homie? My carnal coca. Was that in the West That's Coast? You know, I'm trying to buddy there, boy. You yeah, know, I'm trying yeah. to say shout out to the family and everybody. You know Hell what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, I don't. I'm not. I'm not intimidated by anybody on the microphone. But I just, just the body of work that cocaine has put in and the quality yeah. of the shit that he didn't put in. It's like you can't deny it. It's yeah. like you know, it's ridiculous. I told him one of my favorite. Uh, and we'll. Uh, I'm gonna probably. I'm gonna probably eventually talk to him on here. Yeah, too, of but, course, of course. But while we're and on he that, raps too, not just oh, sings. Yeah, yeah. Like most people think oh, he just be singing album, hooks. His first album on Ruthless, uh, he was rapping he and everything. Rapping, bro. But but um, one of my all time favorites of him, and I know he has like hundreds and hundreds, but uh, that haters joint that he did with uh, Buck? Uh, uh Young Buck. Yep, 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 that, yep, 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 yep. yep. Oh, Come on! Oh my God! <laughs> you hit it! You I want right to sing this shit right <laughs> you now. Hit it. He fucking got down <coughs> on that shit, dude. And, like, and, my, and, <coughs> and my other, uh, and my other two, Papoose on the East Coast. Okay. When he, Papoose is one of the hardest lyricists in the game today. I, I think, bro. Even though people know that, I, you're right. I think they don't he, maybe he don't get the credit. Overlooked. He gets yeah. overlooked. Yeah. The other MCs and shit. But yeah. and my third one, and you guys are definitely feeling with this. It's, it's Tash, bro. Uh, bars? Uh, yeah. Shout out Tash. I ain't talked to you in a minute, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hope you're doing good. But I'm just saying bars? Yeah. You know, I, 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 ran, I ran around with Tash for a little bit, and we got a song together and everything. You know what I'm saying? It's on my Once Upon a Time in Compton album. Go stream that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. It's Keep it. City of Angels. But um, Tash bars? People sleep on Tash. No, Tash, no, come well, on, man. I think maybe. Underrated. Okay, when you say that, and here's what comes to mind, and you're right. You got that 100% right, and here's why. 
I, his solo album. Right. That's what I was gonna say. Rap that, life. That yeah. album. Rap life. Yeah. Was rap, rap, life. Life. rap life. Rap life was hard as. Come on. Oh, Amber, Come on. Amber, we oh. had that shit. <laughs> Nightfall. <laughs> Lady, we wait for Nightfall. Oh, 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 oh come on. That song is Nightfall. hard. Nightfall. What about the last joint? The uh, uh, the one uh, Smoke Fest to uh, when he had a. Uh, Andre 3000, Be Real, oh, yeah, uh, right. uh, Taj, uh, who was on there? Feel the Ray Quan was, was on the Feel album. That. Feel the Ag, Feel the Ag was on that, on that, on song. that song. On that song. Yep. Uh, yep. I forgot there was one more I'm missing. I'm my bro, bad, but Tash that was song, Tash just, Smoke Fest Smoke 2000, 2000 or some bro, shit like bro. that. Yeah, I think last weekend or something, we were in the garage just playing music, getting faded, and like, and I played, I was, you know, we were just picking music. My lady was, and then Michael, and I played, I told her, put that one. And, and he's all, what song is he? Like, he wrote it down. Like, oh, because you know, like, he didn't know about that my, song. I, I got to this a song, younger, my like, cousin in law. Oh, what song is that? He's like, my lady's, that my lady's cousin, he's younger than me, but he's he's cool, man. He, he knows, you know, he, he knows, like, he's he like likes in his that mid 20s. Like, right. Yeah. He's younger. So, okay. A lot of the shit, he, but not, this is not just older stuff. Okay. Like, I'll put him onto some stuff, but he'll, like, actually like the shit. Not, not every, I don't think he likes everything, but. The ones he does, he literally, assassins. I'll go in later, and he'll, in the garage, he'll be bumping, the like, something I put him on to, and, uh-huh. and uh, uh, like, some newer shit, like, even, like, uh, man, I just heard, uh, I'll, I can't even think of the name <laughs> of it right now, but it was, like, or a new. people that we have on the show, some newer artists, you know, got the you. CDs, we'll take them there, you know, put them. You know, I, I, I think, I think the alcoholics, not to go, not to go such a, uh, no. grab it, but I think the alcoholics were, came up in the wrong, on the wrong coast. Oh, uh, I, mean, I mean that they. I think they've even said it before. Right? Wow, okay. I don't know if they said it officially like I, that, but we've talked about it. It was almost like they were on they the wrong were coast. More, even like Razkaz, I think on the wrong coast. More accepted because these are hardcore hip hop artists. Yeah. But to be hardcore in the West, unfortunately, well, here's the you kind of have to that. be gang related or here's affiliated. Here's the flip on this. What yeah. you just brought up because even be real. Is, here's the flip. Is what gang about? Affiliated? You know who got more accepted over here than over there? Who? Chino Excel. That's why he moved over here. Bro. He's from Jersey, right? Or, uh, or believe, New York? Or yeah, yeah, yes. So I think it was Jer- uh, Jersey. Jersey. Yes. And, and uh, uh, shit, I forgot exactly. And he came part. out here. I, my bad, Chino. But he's been on the show before, and we got to have a And the West interview. Coast showed him more love. But he got A, hey, bro. Because, I was one of those kids. <laughs> oh, that was. Uh, an, dub. <laughs> that Baker was Boy, another dub. one of the albums. Oh. That was another one of the albums one. That one was called uh, Here to Save You All, I believe. Yep. His first I, I bought that. I had I it bought on cassette. That. It was like fun to listen to this. No, it but was fun to listen to. I bought it too, right? But I remember <laughs> that was one of the ones that I was I talking about earlier Tupac. in the hood. Yeah, <laughs> but in the hood, and everybody was all like loving too. Tupac, but it was like, dog, he's saying what he's saying. That, he's pi- rapping, that, that pissed me off. He's rapping. That pissed me off. I'm like, look, I love Tupac too, but he is spinning right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let and him... this shit is hot. Okay. Yeah, you, you don't like it? Say something back. Say something yeah. back. But, I like Tupac too, but, but this is hot. But that shit was one of the ones that also that I kind of put people on in the area where Chino, I know, man. I was like, oh, Chino, you guys got to hear this fool. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll tell you like this the two rappers. That I'll say three, three rappers that have made me consider like you know what, I can't fuck with them. Yes, Eminem, um, Chino, and and and, and I say Papoose at times, but I say Eminem and Chino mostly. You hear these dudes like you know what, I I, I can't do that. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's it's like it's so easy for them, right? Bro. Like, right. You know, you know who I would throw in there that that's fucking. Uh, I feel like it's kind of even though he's he's, he's kind of mainstream, yeah. but it's kind of underrated as a lyricist. It's, it's ludicrous. Ooh. I, I hear him on a lot of other like, what, especially when he features on someone else's songs. It seems like he always goes and like. You know why I agree with you? Like, because his style. He, he seems smart. Like he just know like. I, 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 it, it's so articulate. He flips styles. It goes back to what me. It goes very very articulate. Very articulate. It goes back to what me and Rabbit were talking about when an artist is a lot of style. Uh, um, you lose the you lose sight of the substance sometimes. You yeah. know what I'm trying to say? Cause you, you know, he got the songs, uh, uh move, bitch, get out the way. Yeah. But his bar work? No, oh, yeah. Like, well, like, but I think you what you're saying, Shay, is like it's almost like when he's on somebody else's track, he starts to he, start, he, he goes in he a goes little, in little harder. I don't know. It like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, but you got to do what you you got to do your thing. He is underrated though. I'll give you that. Hey, let's yes. get into this, man. Let's yes. go into the the. Rapid, rabbit fire, rabbit fire. These are just some quick ones. 
Um, we're going to do, uh, before we tail this off, man, it's been fun. Yes. We've been talking some hip hop on, on a real level because this yes. is some shit we vibe this out to. This is dope, bro. Makes you feel some kind of way. And I know a lot of people that are going to hear this will, re- will relate to it. Yeah. But um, anyways, okay. We're experts. This, this, we are the experts. Yeah. Hey, at least uh, we somewhat. Are the I, I agree. No, don't be humble. Uh, We're the experts. You guys <laughs> need to know this. We're the experts. Yeah, yeah, talk I mean. to them. <laughs> okay, this is, I think, the one that I told my brother hold up hold up but okay cuban links or liquid swords only built for cuban links or liquid I, swords i'm mad at you right now rabbit uh, uh, i'll say mine if you don't have yours yet i'll I, I say it 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 and i say it and i stand by it i say it and i stand by it liquid swords that's what i was gonna say that's mine <laughs> It's hard. It's hard. No, that's a, that's a hard choice. That's a hard choice. I go bro. liquid swords. I'm going liquid hey, swords. I agree. When the too. MCs came yeah, to live about out the, the name, name oh, and yeah, yeah. two before. But, so come on. But then when you go with the fucking uh, French uh, butter pecan chocolate deluxe. Oh, oh my God. Ice cream. That song ice is, cream. Uh, that song is. Oh. So classic. That should have probably been so on my classic. street single side. That should have been. Ooh, that should have been. That song that is should've been so underrated. Fucking underrated, hard, bro. Underrated. Ice, ice cream. cream. Oh, my ice God. Cream. I had to go liquid source, yeah, man. Yeah. I got a liquid source. Yeah, I think when all the MCs. People hey, are going to be mad at us because all three of us. Duel of the Iron Mike. Yeah. Come on. Oh, and the one, the other one they had on there, I think it was called the. Cold World. No, the one with. the. That was on Liquid Sword. No, the right. one with yeah. the one with Jizza and Method. Uh, uh, G- what was it uh, called? Uh, um, uh, I know it. Uh, uh, shadow Boxing. Shadow Boxing. There you go. Yeah. Shadow Boxing that, with Nas on it. Oh, my Come God. On. That was one of those albums that, like, that was an, uh, an album that I could just bump all the way all through. All the way through. Oh, Liquid yeah. Swords. Hell yeah. Liquid. Yeah. Li- hey, letting you guys know, a lot of people, when they watch this, they're going to be in the comments, Purple Tape, Rayquan is, yeah, Rayquan no, yeah. no, Liquid Swords. Yeah. So, you Liquid know what? Liquid Swords. You know what? And here's what I'll say. Anybody... Um, that has something really of substance to say when they do hear this. What? Anybody right. comments me, what? hits me up. Take I'm going to have them on the show. I want to hear what they have to say. I want right. to talk. I like these. We're going to have some good ones where we talk some stories and different things with people on the Rabbit Season podcast. But They're going to be mad at today, us with swords. I bro. just wanted to talk hip hop and I said damn West Haven man let's talk some hip hop that's so what here we, we go. do that's what we do Robin. next one these are all random though okay. Little Kim or Foxy Brown Little Kim mine's Foxy Ooh. and it's hard that was hard Ooh. it's a hard choice Ooh. but I'll just go we, we, what, I'm going Foxy tell me your reason I'll tell you my reason Um, I think it's cause when she first came out on uh, when I first heard her on a uh, uh, Case, I think his name was that well, singer. Trust me, tease me. D- there you go. And I think it was that. And then I started no, hearing she was more. On that Jay Z, one of his. First yes. No. 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 Yes. Remember? But. But. Uh, I'll be good. Yeah. Uh, 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 no, the other one, the the one where they're on the roller coaster Ain't in the no video. When I got. That's the one. What, wasn't she on that? Sunshine. Yes, she was. No, you could be my sunshine. Yes. 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 The Jay Z, oh, the Jay Z, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. you guys know what I'm yes, talking yes, about. Yes, yes, yes. No, but 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 even Did before I heard sunshine. the story of how he brought her up, I just <clears> felt on that uh, R and B joint, I felt like it was something way different. I, that that's the main reason. That's it. It's just because it hit me different at the time. I thought it was dope, but I can't front on that. Like, and I'm not even saying one of her best joints, but Little Kim's, <laughs> put your lighters up. Oh, oh, dude, when she came oh, out with that joint, oh, I made, was like, oh, that Lil made my decision <laughs> very, very hard. That song is hard. Well, I, would, I would only say Little Kim only because, yeah, especially because of her legacy, like, you know, the stuff with Junior. Yeah, and, and Biggie and, and all and that. Then, but, and like we were just talking about earlier, um, I think before we were recording about that song, like, that she did with Mob Deep, Deep. The, the, the remix to Quiet Storm. Oh. That was like the dopest shit I've ever heard. Oh, and oh. she might have got the best verse Thank on you. That. Yeah, Thank you. Know, you. Thank you. Like now, that shit was hard. The reason why I pick him is just like you said. Uh, uh, um, now, check it out. When I was younger, I was on. I, I picked Fox. I picked Fox. I like Fox more. But as I grew older and, you know, and, and paid more attention, Little Kim is an underrated MC. 
I don't like the plastic surgery. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't yeah. like the weird shit sometimes and all that weird shit. It fuck up your your your. You, you know what? It fucks up your image of them. But she had she had she had bars. I don't want to harp on it she too had much, bars, but bro. I thought she was way hotter before all that. Me shit. too. Yeah. I mean, she like a, a ghetto girl. She yeah. was oh, way hotter man. then. She was hot Ooh, then. Natural. Yep. I, natural. I yep. guess I like that better. I don't know. <laughs> me, me too. Me too. I don't like the Marilyn. I'm yeah. Marilyn Monroe, but the, what's the girl name? Uh, 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 uh j- j- the, the one that was famous for the plastic surgery. Uh, she, I think Joan Rivers. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Joan Rivers. <laughs> Her face is like all stressed. I she, think like the she, she would just go Rest every week Rest and they would, just, Rivers. they would just pull her shit back. Yeah, like, like, the, like the Joker. Go ahead, though. Go ahead, bro. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll keep it moving. And that's what I wanted to do, elaborate on some of them. But here's right. one that's kind of ill. Got, Ice got? Cube or Snoop Dogg. Oh, you're, you're mean. Because they claim in the... You're mean. You know? I'm going to let you go first on this one, Shay. No, I, I, I'm going to go first. Oh, I'm sorry, Robert. I'm going to go, go to make it what easy. What you got? What you got? And this is hard, too, but I just... Man, bro. I'm a mean Cube fan. Like I go Ice Cube on that one. You know what? You know, go. Yeah, hey, you know I gotta go Ice Cube too. He's a, he's a legend. I'm, he's one of the, you know. I'm not gonna rock the boat. I'm going Cube. I'm yeah. going Cube. It's well, hard. It's hard. It's spe- you know what makes it so hard? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it G. I'm gonna keep it G. Cause I, I, Snoop is dope. Snoop is dope as fuck. Oh you know hell saying? yeah. One of the, one of the greatest. Changed the whole. Changed shit. the game. He made East Coast really recognize really like what the, if they didn't already. what the West Coast was about. If they didn't already, yeah. Shout out to yes. to the dog. But I'm gonna say this: if it's not for a uh, doggy style the album, Cube wins that hands down. Oh, that's that's what I'm saying. Oh, oh well, doggy right. style makes it hard for me. Okay, wait. Doggy style was just so. I'll take it one step for for me. What makes it harder? Talk to you. The, the deep cover song was the. Oh, oh, that's another that street too. single. That's another street single. Oh the God, deep cover. The bars on on deep cover. The song. The song bro. itself. One eight seven on the undercover cop. Oh, my gauge, my Uzi, and the nickel plated twenty two. So if you want to blast, yeah. Oh my God, that song was so hard. Those two. Song. No, matter of fact, I'm gonna take it a step further, Rabbit. Deep cover, the chronic, because we all know Snoop Dogg was the, was 75 percent of that. Shout oh, out Dre. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But deep cover, the chronic, and Doggy Style, first album, and and the Dog Food album. Those four joints, you know, Snoop Snoop can hang with anybody. Yeah. Well, even the also the East Siders. Oh, and the East Siders, and the East Siders. That that's, that's that's the fifth. No, Damn, no, my I, bad, I my almost, bad. I almost fucking that's, forgot to mention. You know what? That's East fucked up too. Because my you bad. know, you know what's funny. Like, uh, we'll with those five joints. Real quick, like, I just thought of, like, two more groups while we were talking. I didn't say which is the East Siders and the Mexicans. Like, I can't oh, I didn't shout out to the Mexicans. El Pecador and Yes. Hand, bro, you got me thinking about dilated peoples around this motherfucker. The Mexicans, <laughs> yep. Yep. Here, let's go because we're gonna go too too far into that. But this is like why Ooh. we're gonna we're gonna have another episode, bro. Yeah. But okay, here's this. And I'll tell you. This is crazy. My answer on, or uh, when I elaborate on this, okay, but Illmatic or Reasonable Doubt? Uh, rabbit, yeah. <laughs> rabbit. These yeah, are they're rabbit. supposed to be rapid fire. But okay, rapid fire. I'll be rapid. I'll be rapid about no, it. No, no. I'm saying oh. that they make you think. That's why it's hard. But I'll though. go with my heart. I'm not gonna think. I'm not gonna think. I'm going go with my heart. That's what's go. hard. You That's what's so hard. Go quick. Then. But I'm gonna go with my heart. Uh, reasonable Doubt. And, you, I, and, and I'm kicking myself right now because I love myself, Illmatic, but I'm going Reasonable Doubt. And here's, I'm going to, I'm going gonna, Reasonable you Doubt. You guys are going to trip out on my answer. Go. I say Illmatic. I'm going Okay. I, I had to, I, I, I'm with you, but I had to go Reasonable. I had to go Reasonable. I had to go Reasonable. And, and here's the thing. I go Illmatic, but because when I got it, it was another one of those times I I introduced that to our area. Like, okay, okay. check out this Nas Illmatic. I literally bought that. Oh. I bought that on cassette like three times, bro. Because one time I had stolen. Lent, I lent one time stolen. <laughs> one time I lent it to a homegirl I knew. The shit melted in her car <laughs> when the summer. I had to get another one. But but mm-hmm. here's the twist on what I was saying. This is why it's trippy. Out of the two MC, I'm and, and it's crazy. But I'm I'm actually. Later, I just caught on way more. And, dog, I'm more of a Jay-Z fan. Right. I just love his whole body of work. Mm-hmm. I could listen to everything all mm-hmm. the way through, all of his shit. Right, 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 right. Yeah, and right. not saying I can't with Nas, but but then that's the twist. Is But out of those that's two. That's what makes it hard for you. It's Illmatic is because I had that right when it came out. And it One took, love. And I caught on to reasonable Life's doubt bitch. Oh. later than I should have. That's what I'll say. Oh. And that's why. Got but you. but now Jay Z is one of my top MCs yeah, let, of all time. Let me piggyback off that. Yeah, 
I, I caught reason. I, I was I was one of the first in line for reasonable doubt. Okay, see, so it was I, opposite for I, me. I hit him. I, I got them both at the same time. So Nas hit me from the left. Jay hit me from the right. So like I I, I was up on Jay because he was in a group with a, 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 a original flavor. Original flavor, and they used to rap like foosh niggas, like with tongue twisters oh, type yeah. shit. Jay could get when they first came out, he used to yeah, rap with Jazzy, like that. Jazzo, yeah. Jazzo, 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 Jazzo was a part of them. Yeah. There was all uh, 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 organized fla original flavor. Yeah, and so I was looking for him. I said like, he got bars, and when I got the album, bro, I'm mean, I'll just name some joints. Okay, everybody gonna bring the up the evils, the 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 evils, the evils, the evils, the evils. Yeah, the evils. That I'm not even talking about their presence. I'm talking about the evils. I'm talking bro. about uh. Uh, That's feeling it. Politics as usual. Yeah. Go listen to politics as usual, man. I'm not even the biggest yeah. Jay Z fan feeling anymore, it. cause nah, 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 cause I don't like Jay Z and Beyonce as a group. I, I'm not big on that. But Jay Z, early yeah, Jay. Feel you on that <laughs> I'm not I big on feel the. That they got <laughs> it's R and B. It's know. you know what I'm saying. It's almost family. But you know what? You know, on that though, I love it though. I, I'm glad at least they, <laughs> for the most part. They use their power for good. No, I, agree. I will give I them agree. that. But I like the raw Jay Z reasonable yeah, doubt. Yeah, no. And what you have? What do you have on that? Oh, you already said it. it. Okay. All right. Here's Ooh, some way off. Do. We're going way off. But Let's do it. Whitney or Mariah? Ooh, use my heart. Use my heart. Use my heart. Uh, use my heart. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what we get. We, you know what we're gonna have to do? You just made me think of something. Cause we want to do this. We're gonna do random shit like this. But you made me think of something. I think if we keep, like, if we actually have a timer, yep. the, answer, make you, the make answer would be different if you thought about it too long. Exactly. I, okay, go, go, go. What is it? Whitney. Mine was Mariah Whitney. right off with my heart, but when I go back, then I think too much. Okay, yeah. I said Mariah. <laughs> I said Mariah if I go fast. What about you? Yeah, I got to say, right, with Mariah, with my heart and my, I mean... Wait, yeah, wait, yeah. No, no, but, but, pushing, yeah, but you're yeah, pushing yeah, for yeah, way yeah. Did he say his heart on? <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah. yeah I, uh, like, I had to cut myself off. My lady might, what, uh, might listen to this. No, I'm come just on. No, but uh, no, Mariah. I've, I've always fucking loved Mariah since I was like in junior Me too. High or look, look, look. I'm gonna tell you. Like, come on, her first, her first song. Some, someday, right? Someday, right? Oh, someday. Yeah. Come on, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you got me feeling emotions. Oh, yeah. Look, I love me. Come on. I, I feel like dancing through flowers <laughs> right now. Hey, plus she could sing, and, and but Mariah was she the could sing, and I had a fucking crush. Look, on, you know, like he was saying about Madonna. That's uh, Mariah. Look, came th out. This is this is the irony about this. Look, with Mariah, I had a crush on Mariah. I love me some Mariah. I loved. I, I arguably, I, I was more connected to Mariah because Whitney was a little bit older generation, yeah. Yeah. right? But the thing that made me. Pick, rabbit put me on the spot with this rapid shit. The main thing that made me say Whitney, and and this is fucking crazy. This is like saying Big Daddy Kane, uh, rock him, because I said because her voice, because Mariah Carey got one of the coldest voices in the game, but Whitney has one of the greatest voices of all time. So hey. uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Well, so here's that's the, like rock him or Big Daddy Kane. Who you want? Here's like the thing. The they both lyricists. can sing. They both can sing. They both can yeah. sing like a motherfucker. Okay, wait. You know what I'm saying? You so, brought it up, man. Big Daddy Kane or rock him. I go right off the bat. Big, and here's I'm going Big Daddy. Big Daddy. I'm going Big Daddy. Big Daddy Kane. And, 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 and if I tell you why, you, I'm if tell I tell you why, you're gonna be mad at me. Why. He was one of the most influential. When I was buying my, I would go out. That's when after I told you my first tape, I started every time I got my, I'd get allowance. I had paper routes. Right. I made my own like money at a young age. Whether you know later I figured out ways <laughs> that weren't <laughs> so proper, <laughs> but yeah, but uh, uh, allegedly, <laughs> but but, but uh, allegedly, but. Uh, <laughs> Bro, Big Daddy Kane influenced me like mean. Oh. Like he made me like start. I, even as a young age, I started thinking I could rap Dope. and shit. Like Dope. Big Daddy Kane. Dope. But I will say this: and when people put to us, like, oh, well, can you do hip hop at karaoke word for word? I could do Microphone Fiend by uh, Eric B. and Rakim. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could do that oh, shit word fiend. for word. Bro. <laughs> you can, but but that's the point. That's why I pick Big Daddy with you. Big Daddy had so had bars. Yeah. Big Daddy Kane was the but original. But he had the original swag. He had the swag too with the Ooh. ladies, all that. But if you listen to his bars, he was on some Jay Z shit. Yeah. And people might get mad at me for this, but I just keep it honest all the time. I don't. I love Rakim. I love um um, um paid in full and microphone feed paid and and, and know like, the ledge. You favorite. know those are my joints. Those three. But my personal opinion, don't shoot them. Don't shoot the messenger. I just think Rakim is a slightly overrated. 
Woo! I hey, said it. I that's said nice. it. Hey, but I, I'm glad you said it. I, I'm glad you said it. Because um, everybody's become the God MC. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. Well, and here's why. You know? Well, here's why. <laughs> Demi and God MC. And I could hear both right. sides. And here's why. It's because he flipped and was talking about some some things that people weren't, weren't saying talking back about then. at the time, right? Okay, Somebody atoms else and told molecules me that. And, yeah, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah. but here's why. Okay, this is I'm gonna get in trouble for this. Too. <laughs> Someone gonna get mad at me. <laughs> gonna be mad at me but already. I've, I'm, I'm being honest. And here's man. why. And here's why. And this will this will uh, solidify my opinion. Okay. I've seen them both live. Oh. Big Daddy. Big Daddy killed it. Dude, that's one of the things about him. He has lyrics. He has swag. He has all and the has things. And Dude, his thing. stage show I is know magnificent. That. I didn't know he mixes that. dancing. He does almost a James Brown. I didn't Dude, know the motherfucker that. has a sick live show, bro. I did not yeah. know. So that. that's it. I don't argue with me, motherfuckers. <laughs> Freddy Krueger walking on Kane. Yeah, yeah. I, I've seen bro, all the the wrath, the, the wrath of Kane. Right, hey, bars. Oh, shit. Uh, and like, he do that fashion. Yeah. He could Come do on. all that. The bro. Like, that's, that's a great song. That's Come like, on, like a, like a bro. Come on. So, anyways, <laughs> that's why. So anybody gets mad if you guys have like me seen them both, then argue with I me. But to other my, than stick that, to what yeah. I say, man. I stick I'm sticking to, to I'm my story. Sticking to my story. All right, here's another one. Indica or sativa. This one's easy for me. Indica. Indica for me because Indica. that's really all I really, you know. The, Sativa is, you know, I get it. People say they they like, they, they they can work, they can function. be productive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I'm productive still. Me too. With, me too. But <laughs> me too, me here's too. the thing. I think, and this is, I've come to realize, I think sativa is not heavy enough for me. I agree. I catch myself hitting it more than I need to. When, it, when Indica, I could just take a good rip and... All right, what are you? Should, what well, you honestly, it's, it's, it wasn't one of the choices, but uh, like hybrid. Hybrid, <laughs> okay. Okay, I should have threw that, but that was like, a three. Yeah, like, okay. Like sometimes a too heavy indicate, I, it'll kind of like, give, the me hybrids. Two, get, give me a little bit too uh, burned out. Like when I have to, because I always want to smoke before I go to work in the morning. Me. I'll yeah. take a rip, so. Like I, I just need a little bit. I, I'm with Shay on this. I didn't know. I didn't know hybrid was a yeah, selection. I, I guess we added <laughs> it. I cheated on that one. <laughs> but I'm going hybrid. No, but, but if I had to choose between the two, I'd probably take the indica. No, but if you do like no, 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 sleep, add it, you know, so. add it, and here's the thing. But I'll still, I'll still pick indica. Ah, yeah. oh, that's okay. just me. I'm just okay. used to it already. Well, if like, it wasn't there, like if it was the other two, though, I would pick indica. Because I love sativas, yeah. but like you said, I'm gonna be smoking this shit way too much. That's that's the thing. I feel like I keep waiting for that kick that I'm waiting for. Me, as far as an uh, indica smoker, my, my <laughs> me smoking, and then it's the indica that's the kick. It's like, ah, uh, there we go. Boom. <laughs> and then, but dog, I, I'm mad. I've gone in addicts, ran wire, I've done shit all up indica. I'm, I'm cool. Mm-hmm. So, people that say you can't be productive, it's just a different tolerance, tolerance I guess. level. Yeah, mm-hmm. tolerance level. Like me, I can't fuck with the dabs and all that. Me neither. I'll go to that sleep. Shit is, man, that yeah. shit is t- way too strong. Yeah, I, I, I go I to could, sleep. I, I can do that sometimes, you know. It's I don't want to smoke after I take a dab, bro. Me I'm either. Gonna, <laughs> I feel like I'm <laughs> twisted for the, and then it fucks me up because I'm on my casual. I just want to go, but no, I'm not going. I'm stuck. Doug. I'm not. We're not going anywhere. Yeah, I'm, cancel, I'm here. I think plus it's how much you know. It's like you smoke a little bit of a um, indica. That shit's strong, work, but, but bro. But don't, don't smoke like a whole fucking look, like look. eighth before you work. No, no, no. You, know, you know that shit, rips, Shay. You know? you know that shit too strong, bro. You ever go to the medical spot and they have you ever seen anybody take a rip and just take it like yeah, that's nothing. Everybody leaves like they' about to die after they take their. Oh, <laughs> they're even choking <laughs> like it, like. Oh, oh yeah, with, yeah. The, with the dab. And, and they're like, like <laughs> ah, ah. yeah. And you okay? The, I'm fine. Just took a dab. Bro. That's the thing. After and then you're like, oh, get ready to call. I'm, I'm like the number one away from nine one one, right? <laughs> Like and then they get up and go, cool. I'm right, right, good. right, right, right. The I'm, two seconds from calling nine one one. I'm okay. Right I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay. No, that's dangerous. <laughs> so I, I went. I went indica. Oh shit. All right. So here's the other one that I got. Uh, this is probably one of my last ones. Shay? Man. Yeah, once in a while, only with either Eclipse or DJ Gummies here. You know, Bro, could, that's just, just a certified way to oh, get yourself fucked up. up. Hey, quick story on that. Uh, shout out to DJ Gummy for saving the lips of our homeboy, Big Gene. <laughs> okay, oh, but yeah. I don't know what that means. But yeah, he, uh, he almost hit the wrong end of the He almost hit oh, the wrong end of the heated end. He just, he was, oh, like, the shit. homie was heating up, and the homie was all, he was dab. He was feeling pretty good. The other homie goes, yeah, I'll take a dab. <laughs> He was heating it up for him. He almost hit the lit side, and uh, the the homie that was high as shit, 
like literally goes, "Hey, what are you doing?" Like. I give him props for that dog. He was Dabs got he was you alert. <laughs> yeah. that, my homeboy could have had no lips. Right <laughs> so, anyways, here's my last one. Okay. Beatles or Rolling Stones? Oh, oh, okay. Um, okay, you have to excuse me on this one. Um, because because my knowledge is not. This as, one's hard. The Rolling Stones are the ones with McCarthy and that guy. No, that's Beatles. Okay, that's Beatles. Yeah. And Rolling Stones, who was in that? Rolling Stones, Mick Jagger and... Uh, Rolling Stones, yeah, Mick yeah. Jagger guys, yeah. I, I'm, I'm with Rolling Stones, and this one's hard for me, too, because both of them, um, you know, because I am a little versed, I, I like classic rock, so I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm influenced a lot by that, um, besides hip-hop. Right. But um, they both go way back. I just think the Stones have a little... See, people argue with Mick me on Jagger this, that know it, it for me. a little more blues side... Okay. Uh, influence, I guess, on them, and the the Beatles had more. Oh, I guess they also more had poppy? blues. No, they had oh. blue blues, but and then the the Beatles had way more albums and songs and singles oh, and stuff. Oh, I didn't know that. But they have the. I think they still have the record for the most albums put out. Okay. But um, but Rolling Stones, yeah, just I and I've never got to witness them in person, but I've seen just performances, and yeah, the Rolling Stones. Every time I think about the Beatles, I, I just love that. their songs more. Then see, in other words, like here's here's my deciding factor. Yeah. If I took my top ten Beatles songs against my top ten Rolling Stone songs, my top ten Rolling Stone I'm songs would win. be way better. So that's my. But what do you have? Yeah, 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 that was like uh, that's actually tough. Okay. That's tough. That's a tough <laughs> one. <laughs> it, you know, classic. No, yeah. it is because I, I like both. But um, okay. yeah, like I think for the same reason, it's probably I'll say Rolling Stones. Uh, I think they probably. But damn, the Beatles are fucking to have some hard. hard okay. Songs, okay. And they're you know. I, I got one. Aerosmith and Metallica. I got Aerosmith. Ooh, uh, I like Aerosmith. I got Aerosmith. Yeah, I like Aerosmith. Awesome. Just because I'm more into classic than I am into hard. Uh, yeah, Metallica was a little yeah. too hardcore. But like, the dopest for me of all time, hands down, is Led Zeppelin of all ooh. time. Led Zeppelin. Oh, yeah. Isn't that the one that's like the, 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 the like Stairway the, to Heaven? Yeah, 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 um, yeah But yeah. to me, even more than like uh, the Doors and everything. The Doors. Yeah, the Doors. Yeah, the Doors. The Doors are the dope. Doors, no, a lot of doors. people have that. But the Doors. The Doors. To me, the doors. easily the dopest you rock said and the roll doors, band went to the doors. of all time for me is Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. Easily. Easily? Easily. Easily? Easily. Best rock uh, band of all time. All time. All time. For me. Ooh. For me, bro. Nirvana? Everybody. Nice. I don't think you can name anybody. I, I, Led Zeppelin, the hardest ever. And and you know what? I've watched a lot of documentaries on that countdown, and it's the top three or, or uh, what is that, arguable? Yeah. Arguable, but, huh? but usually Led Zeppelin's still in there. All the time. I'm a Red Hot Chili Peppers fan, bro. Hey, they're hard, I'm, bro. I'm a, I, 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 I I've seen Red them. Hot Chili Peppers. Because I was my generation. Like, I, I, I love them. all their songs. You know what I saying? I seen them when Give they were away. still I'm playing cool. college gigs. I got a chance. That homeboy that I was telling, we just, hey, we're going to tell this off. We're almost done with this shit. Uh, man, we've been rapping. I like, like Red Hot Chili Peppers, Hey, we can go bro. on for days. But I was just going to say a quick story. The guy I was telling you earlier about, one of my friends that I got to actually travel because... His parent, he was an only child, and they need someone to go. But I got to see Red Hot Chili Peppers when they were not even fully known. When they first came they out. were barely from the West coming Coast. out. They're West from the West Coast. Coast at Long Beach. Long Beach. They're from uh, Long Beach. Mm -hmm. I think it was. It wasn't Cal State Long. It was Long Beach City College. Long Beach City College. The one okay. on I can't remember because it's by the lake down the street from Lakewood Mall. Yeah, because there's two of them. Uh -huh. uh, it was Long Beach City College, and uh, I I seen them live before they were huge. And it was one of the bro, craziest. Were, it was great. They were dope, it was great to me. And they collaborated with Ice Cube for Wicked. Come oh on. hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, I would say just up there though, real quick well, on those groups. What about you? Got a Doors, Pink Floyd, Pink Floyd, and Rolling Stones too are up there to me. Pink with Floyd, Led Pink Floyd, it's Pink hard Floyd. Hard for me to say one is the best. Ever, Pink, but Pink they have Floyd such a cult following. It's ridiculous because yeah. it's so psychedelic. It's like yes, shit. psychedelic it's like, shit. Just really yep. Do some yep. mushrooms or some. Yes. <laughs> Oh no! Don't listen to me, kids. <laughs> hey, li listen, man. Um, bro, we had a great conversation. Yes, sir. Yes, we got sir. to like literally like talk hip hop, and this is what I wanted to do because I didn't want to like have to change something. I want right. to keep like this is what we talk about. That's why we have to have it's another episode have soon. Have to, have but, to. I'm here. It's, um, let I'm them know, here, man, bro. what you got out. You just oh. dropped something. Okay. Let them know, man. Well, number one, be uh, tune into the B side show and stay tuned for Rabbit Season. Yeah, 
and the new podcast. And just stay in tune with West Haven Blast everywhere. You know what I'm trying to say? West Haven is the name. You know what I'm trying to say? Hip hop, rap music is my game. You know what I'm trying to say? Yes. Yeah, you know? yeah. And with the new project, you you got out. You got new videos. Oh, and everything. we got new videos out. We we drop. We're literally dropping a new video like every week now. You know what I'm nice. trying to say? Um, we got. Uh, I thought your new video is out right now. Um, got the new joint. Uh, uh, uh 24 hours with Razcast, Corrupt, Crooked Eye, Killer Priest, Red Rum. Um, um, we got the new the West Project with Sausage Cartel, Cocaine. Um, and I have some new shit coming out, you know, trying for the summertime, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, and a bunch of new videos, man. I'm just doing a lot of stuff, bro. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> As you should. We got to do it. We got to keep positive. I'm trying to be like Rabbit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, that's what I was getting at. I'm just trying to stay positive and productive. Yes, sir. So I don't go insane in this crazy fucking world we live in, man. What he said. Yeah, man. I'm trying to, like, what he said. be positive. Oh, any, uh, any shout outs, man? Um, yeah, let me just shout out everybody I fuck with. Um, shout out um Epidemic. Shout yeah, what out what up, Ep? You know, uh, 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 Sausage Cartel, Cocaine, um, Red Rum, Ghetto Flame, um, um, I'm, I'm gonna miss him. I'm gonna miss him. Everybody from from my neighborhood. You know what I'm trying to say? From yeah, Compton. They're, they're gonna get mad at you. They're if gonna you be miss mad them. at me. Everybody from the, from it's the. It's all right <laughs> when you come back. You just have your list. <laughs> I know my. Roll it out. Everybody from the one three fives that I messed right. with, from that I grew up with, um, um, um. Come on, uh, uh, old creep. What's up, old creep? Well, come on, bro. Uh, uh, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all you motherfuckers, I fuck with, man. You know, every anybody I fuck with, and conversely, whoever I don't fuck with. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Hey, but the ones he does, that was your shout out. Everybody, I fuck. That's the good way to cap it all into one. Hey, Shay, you have any uh, shout outs? Anything you want to say too? Uh, yeah, just shout out to uh, everybody, you know, for listening. Uh, you yes. know, just make sure you check out our other, uh, you know, our whole platform. That's the what I was in my bio. It links in your bio, but like, you know, for the B side show. Oh, and shout out to LA Handstyles for the, you know, the piece behind you for the. You know, oh, for the set, damn! You know? Thank you, Shay. I forgot Ooh, to shout out my ass. boy, man. Yeah, <laughs> LA Handstyles. That's the homie right there. LA he Hand came Styles. through, but I didn't know this was coming. Besides that banner we got behind you, Dope. like we're trying to, you know, this was this is supposed to be a lounge kick it type environment for my podcast right but the homie came through to do another piece that we have in here for the b-side and um and and he and he just came there was like a surprise so it made it even doper okay because i didn't know this was coming and i go you know what i'm gonna put it right behind dope, me dope. so thank you homie yeah. LA, ha LA hand styles, LA hand on, styles. On, on instagram follow and him then, but uh, nice. other than that you know like stay tuned you know we got another you know a couple of other shows coming soon and then you know and then we also have a promo run coming we're going to be appearing on oh, a couple of other shows we got a lot of people nice. shows we're going to be stopping by promoting our shows nice. and by then we'll officially give the name we're not going to do it on this episode but by the time it airs, because it'll come out the following, <laughs> um, we'll probably release the official name of the uh, the new podcast we're doing nice. with the wrestling flair. So nice, yeah, yeah, that's nice. it, that's it. So hey, uh, and I want to say that man, shout out to the whole team that fucks with us, everybody that's down with the B side, uh, Rabbit Season. Um, you know what I mean? I'm 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 trying to stay positive, productive, even people like. You know that we might have went separate ways and everything like right, that. Right. A couple of people I'll still be linking with. We're gonna, you know, I'll chop it up, man. I'm, right. I, I'm trying to stay positive. It's the West Coast Big Tigger. Yeah, man. I, I'm a, yeah. <laughs> hey, I like that. I'll take that it's one. West Coast Fucking, Big Tigger. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna add later in a couple years. I'm gonna add uh, Old Man Rabbit to the moniker. Like dumb, you know, what I'm dumb, saying. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not you serious decrepit rabbit like, <laughs> I used to. Uh, but hey thank you guys though everybody that fucks with this man this is another dope this was West dope coast. conversation yes. for me yeah. west coast thank you rabbit bro yeah bro. man rabbit thank season. you Shay. we'll see you guys next week after this man let's yes. go